Hello. Hey, Joe. Sorry for making it last minute, but I want to make sure I eat something before I streamed. That's Busy fine. Day. Oh, Busy day. Did, did you not get the other message? Uh, I did not. Did I not? No, what's up? Uh, Scott's sick. Oh. So we're not we're not Final Fantasying. Okay, what are you doing then? Uh, I'm a I'm be doing something called Zoetti today. Zoetti, okay. Yeah, it's like a poker a poker roguelike, but with right. like cool graphics. All right. Um, do you still want me on as commentary, or would you? Yeah, if, if you want. I'm um, yes, I know Bun. We're live technically. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> If you you are more than welcome to join, I'm always happy to have more people. I'm gonna All be right. going into this blind as I always do. Yeah. Is the and I will be no bam. help whatsoever. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea where everyone where all the things are gonna be on the this here because I'm going in blind, so I don't know what's good to block and what's good to not. So bam. Hi everyone. There's a skeeve and a bun and a lante and all that. St everybody. It's a, oh, uh, better me. <laughs> better me. <laughs> there okay. we go. I mean, I have it on very low because I think if I'm completely muted, you don't get credit for me being a viewer. But oh. I have it on very low where it shouldn't um, reverb like that. There we go. Joe sounds different. I don't know. Joe sounds uh, like Joe I mean, to me. I, I have been finally cold myself. Um, ah. So. It might be this guy that maybe got the same cold. Maybe during last week's D&D or something. I don't know. God, I... it's always D&D's fault. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but I know that I was definitely fighting cold for the latter half of last week, and I'm only kind of just getting out of that funk. So Fair enough. I know I am, I, my voice is already nasally as is, but now it's like super that. So, yeah. But I am still the same Joe. Good. I original Joe. Original recipe. Original recipe. Yeah. Unless the vocal fry is real bad and then it's extra crispy. Ha <laughs> uh, I know, Skeeve. Look, it's like mo mostly realistic armor. It's crazy. Hey, Skeeve. Also, look, it's like a, like a bunny person. So uh, it is a bun. This is good. This is, I think this is going to be my aesthetic. I mean, look at the art. Look at look at that hair. That's that's gorgeous like paint style in there and apparently it's uh, like a poker roguelike they are more in the foreground so i'm gonna presume fe female protagonist uh, very likely but we're gonna find out we're going in blind story mode adventure mode yeah. daily challenge well these are both locked so i guess story mode it is and uh, we got valent valentine valentina who is a level one knight and then we got Alv alves and nicora both of which i don't have unlocked yet so valentina it is Valentina, Nicola, Alvin! <laughs> yes. That is so before most of your time. <laughs> uh, Christmas, it is time Christmas, for Christmas time is here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> alright. Select scene. I see there's three scenes, but once again, locked and locked. So we got the saintly trial to begin with. Ah, oh, hi, Biolante. Yeah, Temple of Coins. Complete temple the trial. Of coins and Temple of Scepters. Oh. Temple of Coins and Temple of Scepters to be baptized. Which, I'm already just fully on board because I because this is a poker roguelike and I and the two temples are coins and scepters, which are non-American like non-American suits. Like yeah. I, I believe the Italian deck of cards uses coin scepters. Oh shoot! I'm trying to I'm like trying to remember my and... yeah I'm trying to remember my Scopa days. It's been a long well, time. Well, I know with uh, well I know uh, for the tarot they use cups, pentacles, um, wands, and swords. Yes, yes, swords is so. Well, I'm gonna find out. Uh, also, yeah, we did a different poker roguelike for the channel, but this is uh, this is one that's been on my on my radar for a while and I've just 
kept missing it, but it's on sale right now on the Steam. So I was just like, you know what? Let's pick it up. It's in like a bundle with this and um, Astrea, which hence we were talking about that in the Discord earlier. Um, also, hello, meowdy, Mashik. All right, so let's give this shot. Long ago, there were two powerful goddesses. Only two. One was the virtuous Zoeti, who presided over the motion of the sun, moon, and stars. Sun, moon, and stars all in one. That's that's great. That's perfect. The cosmos. <laughs> the other was the evil goddess Nessus, who reigned over demon kind. Well, one fateful day, war broke out between the two goddesses. In the end, the evil goddess was defeated. Her body transformed into scarlet soul stone fragments. These philosopher stones fell to the mortal world and attached themselves to creatures that inhabited it, changing them into fiends. In moments, the mortal world became a hellish nightmare. So they won, but did they really win? Exactly. And Zoeti was grievously wounded in the battle with Nessus. So yes, see? Converted her remaining strength into 22 rays of light, which she scattered throughout the mortal world. Hmm, 22, huh? Sounds... Interesting. That's a, that's a very specific number. Yes, it is. And I'm like, that's not, that's really, because that's not, that's not poker. That's not, that's 22 isn't even the Arcanas, right? Wait, so the 13 darknesses and the seven blades of light <laughs> and the two keyblade wielders. All right, Ooh. look here, you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Those who mastered the power of the stars granted by these rays became known as Astral Envoys. They waged war against the fiends, sealing them with astral energy. However, with the loss of its virtuous goddess, the mortal world gradually lost its piety. Piety? Piety? I like pie. <laughs> mm, pie. Power of the Astral Envoys was derived from faith in the goddess Zoeti, and to ensure that the seal of the fiends would continue to hold, one Astral Envoy gathered the astral energy that had been scattered throughout the land and used it to create the four gods. So we, like, took the light of the one goddess that exploded into 22 bits and then merged it together to make four new gods. Because when we had multiple goddesses before, everything went so swimmingly. Yeah, but now it makes sense, right? Now we've got four gods, which are our four suits. <laughs> okay. We've got Batons, god of passion of fire, and creation. Grail of water, sword of wind, coins of earth. Exactly. Scepters, grails, swords, and coins. Hi, Wolf. Yeah, there must be a catch. There's always a catch. Thus was Arcania born, a kingdom pious in its worship of Zoeti and the four gods. There we go. There's our, our arcana. After many astral revolutions in the hopes of rising up through the ranks, a young member of Arcania has set out on a sacred pilgrimage to the four origin temples with the help of the guide. Cute guide. Look at that. Aww. So she's, she's got those, those like fawn ears. These kind of look like hoof adjacent, maybe. Well, we're here. First examiner is in that inn up ahead. Adorable griffin with cat ears. Wait, a griffin with cat ears. Dang. <laughs> they, they're jumping right into it, huh? <laughs> so why aren't we going over? Relax, will you? The examiner may be an astral envoy, but she's also a normal person like us. She's just like super duper powerful. That's all. She's got an interesting personality, but she's a good person at heart. She won't do anything weird. Probably. Okay, Maybe. in we go. She grabs your hand and pulls you towards the inn. As soon as you walk in, you see a bewitching griffin with sheep horns sitting in the corner. Surrounding her is a group of people kneeling before her. We got a person here. We got some sort of like, fawn looking over here. We got a cat drinking booze. Yeah. Languidly raises her hand. You kneel. Huh. Going right into that, too, huh? All right. Oh, dear. Rebel, commanding someone to kneel on your first meeting is a bit much, don't you think? Fine, then. You kneel instead. <laughs> uh, if I do, will you give me some fish? <laughs> Just kneel and you'll find out. All right, okay. She'll dry his bun. <laughs> this is, uh, hmm. getting very... Yeah. <laughs> You're a cute one, aren't you? My trial is somewhat frightening. Do you really think he'll make it through? She lowers her wand and begins to fade away. Rebel, wait, you're not going to explain the trial? Oh, bother, do I have to do everything here? You can take care of that. Ah, uh, it's Phoenix. I know, Phoenix, it ain't Final Fantasy XIV. Scott's sick. James, yep. this ain't Final Fantasy XIV. I know, with an expanded 
a, a new newly expanded expanded trial. Yeah. Cuz the the new the new expansion pre-orders come out like later this week, I think. Uh tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh. And just think, you'll be able to get those neat earrings of Azima I, while you do speed uh, level. I want those earrings more than anything. Yeah, same. Stinky little horn butt. What? <laughs> you stinky little horn butt. If you wish to enter the origin temples and receive the baptisms of the four gods, you must first complete a few trials. Different astral envoy will serve as the examiner at each of the temples. That was Mr. Bell, the astral devil and examiner for the goddess of coin. Here, a little something to help you out. Select a reward. All right, we got the Ring of Stone. The start of battle, defense performance plus one. Uh, defense performance is armor gained from using skills increases. Got the Spike Shield. Upon suffering an attack, inflict damage on the attacker equal to twice the number of attacks. And then Night Gloves. After using a boost skill for the first time, an up arrow skill. Temporary strength plus two each turn. Temporary strength is attack boost for the turn. Hmm. Since this is our first time, I think I'm just going to go with defense, defense boosting defense. What's up, bud? Yeah. Can I put Joe a bit louder? I could, yeah. Uh... Am I too quiet? Oh. Oh. Was I too quiet? Woo! Oh. Too much. Too much. Fixed. Too too little. I'll fi I'll find the num I'll find the magic number right there. Yeah. All right. That perfect. Nice. Okay. So now we get to select another reward. Two pair attack stance, temporary strength plus three, and draw two cards. Two pair does deal six damage two times and draw one card, or a three of a kind to deal eight damage to all enemies two times. So, obviously, if you know anything about poker, you know two pair is slightly easier to get than a three of a kind. Yep. Uh, so, this is temporary strength and extra card draw, but that means you have to do something else to do more attack. If I had taken the other one that gave you the boost, I would I would like that a lot. Uh, so, mm. I think I'll do one of these two. Uh, six damage two times and draw a card is good if it's single target. Three of a kind is better if it's... Wide range. I think we'll just go with the, the shield blade combo. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Plus, it's a shield blade, so I figured it would do something related to defense. But... That would be nice. All right, and then we got another reward. This is for much higher things. Full house or straight. Full house is big damage and then inflicts frail for two turns. Attack reduced to 75%. So it's a small de attack debuff. Full house inflict fragile and frail for two turns. Temporary card draw enhancement plus one. So draw two cards and card draw increase at the start of the next turn. So draw two cards and then have an extra card draw for a turn. Which is pretty, seems pretty good. Yeah, but, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, do, it doesn't damage. do damage. Correct. Yeah. And then Shatter Strike, which is just big, big damage. Uh, but it is only slightly more damage than the full house and I like the frail on top of that. Yeah. Uh, and I, as much as I like the idea of this, once again, if I had taken the buff uh, relic, maybe I'd do that. So I think we'll just do that one. Yep, keep it simple. Yeah, if you have any questions at all, you can find me at the end. Shove his papers in your hand and push you towards the door. So, just pick whatever trial you're interested in and complete it. Make it quick, okay? Me this tires me with you. Bye-bye. Time for some fish. <laughs> Mission start. All right, tutorial. We gotta select a path. Mission star. Path can't be changed while traveling. So, I mean, we have done... <laughs> Fish, run! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bye, bear man. Hi, machine. So, much like um, any other roguelike, once you're on a path, you're stuck on that path. We've seen a million of these at this point. Survival of the fittest. Oh, ah. So, it's either... Well, rather than seeing like a whole path, you can you see either this little one or this little one. So we've got yeah. Trial of Survival, which the reward is an accessory, or Trial for the Greedy, uh, which, which, is gets raw you, money which gets you raw money. Um, I will say this. And right now you have seventy money. Yeah, I will say that. 
the accessory sounds better, but also this path looks like it's just fights, whereas this looks like there's something else here. But I think we'll go for the survival for now. Just keep it super, super simple for our first okay. attempt. Gameplay tutorial. Each hand of cards represents a skill. Select cards to form a hand. The effects of the skill will be displayed above the hand. So, chop deals one damage. Yeah, branch, one pair, and two pair. I'm not sure what branch is. Oh, so branch is just like single, single card. And then one pair, and then two pair. Okay. Once you form a hand, drag it up till it closes, and release to activate the skill. Select the skill quick pick at the bottom of the screen to quickly switch between the available hands. You can play cards every turn until your hand is empty. You can also keep your hand and play on your next turn. Uh, the hand symbol represents the number of cards in your hand and the limit. The plus card symbol represents the number of cards drawn. When the number of cards in your hand is red, you will exceed your hand limit when you draw on your next turn. That makes sense. So you can get, you can be a little greedy, but you don't want to be too greedy. Correct. And then select and turn we run out of cards. Cool. So. Fiendish, fiendish fairy. It's going to do seven damage to me. And then he's got a strength aura. Entire team gains plus three strength. When he dies, the effect disappears. And he's already got strength plus three. Which makes sense, because that's what that is. All right, fish, go enjoy your Minecraft. Uh, I mean, I see... I see a full, a, full house right there. There's also a four of a kind right there that I can't do anything with, which feels bad. <laughs> but, yeah, full house is the one that we just did, which is big damage and frail, so... Bam. That's just a one-shot, one-kill. <laughs> yeah. All right. Money, shards, and select a skill. All right. Mini flush. Strength plus one. Mini Flush deals two damage and inflicts Fragile for two turns. Again, damage taken plus 50%. Or Defense Performance plus one, which, hey, Defense Performance, we had a whole thing built for that, so why don't we lean into that a little? Okay. Yeah, another Poker Roguelike. I still don't think we have any skills that actually give you armor, so... Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we have... By our default, our default weapon gives us chop. Our default um, shield gives us uh, armor plus three. Oh, okay. And then it looks like, yeah, one pair. One, single is... Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I've, I've, I've now discovered... We have thing. choices here. So a single card is armor. One pair is our. We can make it be armor. Two pair is this shield blade combo that we picked up earlier. Mm -hmm. The mini flush is this sturdy. There, we we can we don't have anything for three of a kind. We don't have anything for straight. Uh, full house is our power break, and the straight flush is astral combo. Big bang. Yeah. So we can change. We get a three of a kind in straight zone, so that we have a full. Yeah. So it looks like we options. can we can choose these first two to be strength or defense. I think I'm going to just set them both to defense for now, and just it doesn't leave those. It doesn't as the look attack. like. Uh, I was going to say it doesn't look like uh, someone's asked about frost choices. I'm like, I don't think elements really factor into this, or at, at least you know, at least at least not this early. We're just getting yeah. started, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We have no items. No, we do have the two accessories. Uh, at the end of the turn, gain armor equal to the number of enemies times two, and then at the start of battle plus one defense performance. All right, so cool. And then there's our our deck, which is one through seven in each suit. It looks like it's another poker rogue like. Mm -hmm. And the hands info. We again, we just went over this single. One pair. Oh, let's see what is mini flush. Three cards of the same suit. Okay, that's the one yeah. thing I wasn't sure what it was. So, all right. So now we can go up there or down there. It looks like it's the same either way. So, eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, I guess that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Enemies attack action plan for the next turn is displayed above it. Attack, defense, enhance, weaken. Makes sense. We've seen all that type thing before in these types of games. Armor blocks enemy attacks. Armor is dropped to zero at the beginning of each turn. Hand preview is to the left of the deck. It shows the next hand. Select the deck to view the current hand in the deck and the hands used. Helpful. That is nice. Select the sorting method to switch between suit or value arrangements. Also helpful. Press the item slot at the bottom left of the screen to use an item during your run. And selecting... Selected between enemy targets may have selection marks. Tap other enemies to switch between targets. Well, there's only yeah. one guy here at the moment. He's currently swinging one times two damage. So that's two damage. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, in your turn, you're beating, like, what, two, three armor? So you're not really worried about that, I think. Yeah, all I'll need to do is play anything to get... If I can't just kill him, I need to take up two armor, which is like, woo. Yeah. You wouldn't, oh, Bun, you mean like the, the fact, th things popping up in the corner for people playing games? Yeah, I don't don't know how to turn that off, and it's not a big deal. I don't mind. And I can say, like, if even if you want to be a little spicy, you can play three clubs, do a mini flush, and you'll get even one more armor this turn and more armor in the future turns. Uh, that is or, true. Or you can just, like, full house and just wreck him. Well, you wouldn't quite wreck them. You'd be like yeah. three damage away from wrecking them. So six damage two times would be 12, and then draw one card, but unlikely to get more things. What's funny is if I had left single as a basic attack, I would have been able to kill him easy by doing ah. this. So we'll hit him. We'll hit him with that. Now he's doing zero times two because of the frail. So he's not going to hit me anyway. But I can... I could theoretically play armor, and I think I'll play a six just just to test it. So it would have been three armor based on the ability, but plus one for the defense performance. Yeah. And then I can hold these other two. I will draw... draw. I think I'll draw these three cards, is how it said it? Yep. Oh, no. I'll draw, I draw the full six. Okay. So it just shows the next partial, partial hand. Yeah. And that's helpful because you have cards that let you... Because you have abilities that let you, like, draw two, multiple cards, so you can see which cards you're going to draw into if you do that. And no, Bun, there's nothing important behind the camera at the moment. It's actually the best place for it at, at the exact moment. If it becomes relevant, I'll shift it, but right now it's just, like, the options menu and then, like, my... Me this menu, <laughs> which is fine. Okay, now I just got to do three damage, which two pair... Or the full. I also had a full house. I could have done that too. Yeah. All right. Money shards and another reward. All right. So we got these are straights. Six damage five times and inflict frail for a turn. Just huge one shot damage. But although this again, this is six times five, which would be thirty. And then frail. This is just thirty nine. This is fourteen three times, which would be forty two. But the second and third attacks target random enemies. So if I've got a group, this could just bounce around. But if it's a single target, it is the most damage of these three. Hmm. I'm liking the frail. But it is also the least damage. You know, I'll take, I'll take the, the triple slash, I think. Okay. But if I'm not sure how good AoE is going to be in this game. I don't know how many how many um, abilities exactly. monsters might have to reduce damage. But... Exactly, we're going to find out. Uh, tap prepare yeah. to see info about the equipped skills, items, and hands. I got there a, a, a turn before you told me all this, but Wolf Warrior, welcome, welcome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And yeah, and I was I was already there. But we can go back in and check it again. Uh, also, yeah, straight. So now we got this for straights. Ah, there we go. See, we're immediately fighting two different things. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we got a full house. We've got two pair. Um, I think we just do. I think because there's a one, two, three here, I think we do 
this full house. Crunch this front guy. And then he's doing four, four times two, so we just boop, 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 and block everything. Yep. That's just really good to just be able to, like, toss your cards up and have just so much armor. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, so... So you do keep your extra cards left over and then draw six. So yeah. keeping extra cards behind would have been better because it, I would have had a chance to, you know, draw something specific. Yeah, and also I noticed that your armor doesn't stick around either. Correct. So it goes away it's at the either end of turn. So you either spend it or it's gone. Yeah, so currently he's going to be casting charge on you or your partner, so he's going to cast it on himself. So I don't need to put up armor, so I'm going to hold on to these and... Get it, make sure I have a two pair for next turn. So now he's gonna swing. He's gonna swing big, but we've got a full house and just crunch, nice and easy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. All right. So now we're looking at three of a kinds, which are strength and defense performance, both plus one. And that's kind of nice. Uh, charge plus four, attack plus 10% per stack, remove after using an attack, and then draw a card. Or armor plus 21, but then lose health. Whew. Uh, but I kind of like just keep building that defense performance. That's because that's sort of what we're leaning into. If I've got multiple defense performances up and running, I could play like one defense card and have all of the armor. Yeah, I mean, that's really good if you're, like, fighting... I don't know how what the boss is going to be like, but if you're fighting a boss that has, like, a bunch of health, you need to make sure that every turn you have plenty of armor, that's not a bad strategy. Yeah. ba 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 ba, -ba Mama, ooh. <laughs> I arrive at the location mm -hmm. of the trial and find Rebel lying lazily on some monster. Dang it, Rebel. Hmm, really than I expected. Barely a scratch on you. The trial's too easy. The Archbishop is going to take my talk my ear off. Cast a little spell on you. A cloud of black smoke encircles you. Bibbidi bobbidi poo. Now you're more likely to get injured in a fight. Well, that's not nice. I'm only being fair and impartial. This cutie pie is under the same spell. No more complaints, then. <laughs> Who will survive till the end? I simply can't wait to find out. All right, so what do we... Oh, that is not looking anything like the creature that we just saw. All right, so we're both fragile for 99 turns. Take wow. extra damage for the next for the next 99 turns. Well, at least we both have it. That's true. So it's going to swing for 12. That's easy enough to, 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 to block here. Uh, the mini flush is defense performance. Except that he's actually going to be swinging for 24. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, plus 50%. So 12 plus 6, 18. 18. So we got to make sure we get 18 here. And he's got a lot of health, so I can't finish him off like right away. So I think I'm going to aim for getting set up with things. Although I just realized that I didn't. I switched my single to attack instead of block, thinking that I was going to need a little bit more damage, and then immediately don't have armor. <laughs> oh no. Because of it. I'm a I'm a fool! Oh well. Uh, so let's just do so this says it's going to do four damage, just to test it out. We just go, bam. It does okay, so this is already taking into account the fragile. Because I did four, that should have done six. So the number okay. that's showing here is taking, count into the, taking the fragile into account. Which is helpful. Uh, this is showing 472, so I'm going to just keep the 4, the 7, and the 2 and do a little bit more damage. I'm going to take this hit. It's going to hurt. I got some armor, because <laughs> I do have the shield, which is just... There's one enemy, so I'll gain two armor at the start, at the end of each turn. Now, uh, what's he going to do? Cast Energy Shield on you or your partner. Interesting. Okay, well, again, uh, three of a kind. Let's me do that. Uh, two pair will let me do that. And then I could just hit him for some more damage. Uh, once again, looks like a five and a six are coming. Five, six, seven. 
Uh, yeah, but here's the thing. If if you can draw six cards each round, wait, you can have a max of ten. Correct. So, so yeah, I can just keep those three. Them. Yeah. Yeah, you are better off holding them. That's true. Yeah. If Unless you they have got five or more, you're better off spending them. Correct. All right, so he's got the energy shield up now, which is number of attacks you can counter for the current turn. Ugh. Okay, well. Let's see. Three of a kind is the strength and defense performance. Mini flush is just defense performance. Uh, I if I do that, I can then get defense out of the out of the pairs. So I think. Yeah, I think we do this one. To make this to get this all the way up here, and then I do a pair for nine block, another pair for another nine block, and now we block everything. And let's see if the, yeah, the energy shield goes away immediately. Yeah, a little poker quest, a little adventure quest. All right, so now he's just buffing again. So now this is the turn to just kind of go all in. Push. All right, that's that. Mighty so Bush. All right, there's an, a different. Is that is that the same thing? Oh, chop level two. Is that, has, how's that oh. different from? Oh yeah, it's one more damage than the current one. It doubles her up. Uh, full house is gain seven armor three times and draw two cards. Now that is very very good considering our, we're we're aiming for defense performance. Yeah, so that's each that, one. So if you have defense performance plus three because you've been stacking it... That's ten, that's ten, and ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then Chaos Slash is the, the attack version of that, essentially. Now, what do we currently have for Full House? Full House, although... At the moment, though, Full House is also our big attack. Yeah. So if we do take this Full House, it's potentially a little scary. But I think we can lean into it for now. Because it also draws cards, which I think is very good. Acceptable for a novice. For a nerd. Nerd. Tomorrow's trial will be much more exciting. <laughs> and there she goes again. Select accessory. Woo. A fanny pack. Item slot plus item slot plus one. Currently we have four. That would give us a fifth one. Starting hand plus one which is nice, or the warrior badge, the start of the battle, strength plus one, which is all attacks are going to be plus one. This one's Zoeti, which if... Um... Considering you have no items, like, the fanny pack could be useful later, but right. that's how we know what the items do. And the starting hand plus one is nice, but it's literally a one-time card draw. Yeah. It's the first card at the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's the beginning, one card at the beginning of the, of the fight. Which, uh, strength plus one is one plus one to every attack. Every attack for the, for the rest, rest of, of the battle. fight, yeah. I think this is just the most value for the moment until we run out of item slots, and then I'll be like, oh, man. <laughs> we should have taken the Fetty Pack. Yeah. We'll take the board, yeah. Keep cards in your hand, have more options next turn. Yeah, we got that. You can meditate once each time you go to a campfire, return to your room. Meditation allows you to spend the soul stone fragments to level up skills and gain character abilities. Ooh. Okay, yeah. so I can rest to gain HP. I'm only missing 10 HP, so I'm not too worried. Oh, so let's do meditation. So this is going to be across the obelisk vibes. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like I can use five gems to increase one of these. Uh, it looks like... Chop can go from three to four. Single shield goes from four three to four. I can upgrade the pair to go from five to eight. Five to seven on the attack. Oh, that's less good. You can scroll down to the other ones. There's just... Yep. Yep. It looks like there's... Uh, the two pair is two hits and a draw card. It becomes two hits that are a little bit stronger. Uh, the mini flush is... Stays at defense performance plus one, but lets you also get an extra card next turn. Uh, the battle spirit is currently strength and defense plus one. This one also then gives you an extra card. Uh, the straight attack goes from 14 to 16. 
Uh, this goes from 32 to 38, and the full house uh, just goes from 7 to 9. Okay. Or we can go to Ability Enhancement. And it looks like we have... Whew. So it looks like these all cost 15 to upgrade, yeah. but they're all just various passives that we could potentially have. So it looks like we can like try to save our shards, get like one of the nice passives, like, or we can spend a few shards, upgrade one of the cards. Yeah. I and it looks like we have one meditation attempt left, so yeah. it looks like we can only attempt to do one thing anyway. Yep. The end of turn converts every stack of temporary strength into two armor, which could be very cool. Charges all skills with charge effect. I feel like I want to. I want to get might because again, this kind of want. I kind of want to lean into a defensive build, so I want to get this passive. Yeah. And then maybe after winning a battle, heal. Um. <laughs> Yeah, these just get slightly... Each of these are just slightly better. Although I'm sure they can be, like, leveled up repeatedly sort of thing. Mm. So, okay. So why don't we just go for a rest instead for now? Oh, looks like I can rest and meditate. Ah. Yeah. And one meditation I... attempt left. Do I just save up or do I take one? No, I gained 11 on I... that run. I feel like... You should probably upgrade one of your abilities that you think you're going to be sticking with this run. This is going to be a little, sort of your bread and butter. Bread and butter, yeah. Yeah. So do you want... Oh, uh, I honestly think like the single card defense is probably going to be something you want to stick with. Potentially, because these are like the the super bare bones thing. Yeah. In theory, the... the... Although I suppose because of I don't of think the... you need a... Because I think if you're doing if you're doing a lot of shield up abilities, like yeah. what you do is you, you take a couple of those and then like your shield up single, and then the other thing is all be attacks. Yeah, that's a good point. Because I it, I was just thinking even as is, if I have a pair of twos, I can either play them here to gain five armor, or I can play them here for six armor. The yeah. singles are just better than the pair, as is. So you might as well make the one pair another attack, and then just, like, have your single shield so that you can always pitch cards to that if you need defense. Sure. You know what? Let's do that. Let's... Let's keep the single shield. It looks like I can continue to upgrade it, but it's more expensive to upgrade it again. Okay, so now let's go back to preparation here, and let's swap this to single shield and pair attack. Yeah. And then save up for cool things. Is health heal or is it 10 max HP? That's a good point. We'll find out next next time. Yeah. Bye, everyone. After leaving the room, you can see the guy. <laughs> that was a joke. Face. Oh. Drank way too much last night. Head hurts. A lot of puke. Way to go. He probably ate too much fish, too. Yeah. <laughs> Drink some water. She drank too much fish. Drank too much fish. Yep. Cute guy doesn't know how to hold her liquor. No. And of course it was Rebel that gave her the water. Of course it is. Also, she's been your guide for an entire day. She still hasn't given you her name? Yeah, she's still just cute guide. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, Rebel is like, oh yeah, I'm your seductive <laughs> demoness uh, adjudicator and yeah. I'm just gonna introduce my name and Curse you, despicable devil. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Bun doesn't like Rebel. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be serving the one of the goddess yeah. gods? What of it? There's a little something to help you out. What do you got this time? Oh, a tusk belt. Random enemy gets fragile for one turn at the start of battle. Well, that's kind of mm. cool. Is that an item that you can just click? Oh, it thing? looks like it just it just happens. Oh. Uh, now this is an item that will go into the usable slot, which is a 20% heal. Nice. 
Second trial is going to be a lot harder. If you get stuck, remember to head to the shop and buy some goods. Okay, perfect. So, accommodation. Oh, let's just go back into here again. Okay. Dialogue. Shop opening. Here, clamor for outside the tavern. The chubby caravan boss. Oh, man. Yeah, cute guide is the third daughter of the guide family of their sisters. Nice and helpful. <laughs> it turns out cute <laughs> is her name. Yeah, I like it. Is a f hey, hey, Lee. Oh, hey, James. He's a fog. Is a frog. He's got an iron ball. Oh, it's a, it's a yeen. A smirking dogkin. Don't you worry, Mr. Edric. Oh, a peddler. Oh, hi. Jeez. This, okay, this game is not hold, pulling punches, I guess. You got the smirking dogkin and the mighty wolfkin. This is a shield. It's right to your customer, and that's a natural flaw. 100% natural. Hmm. <laughs> Immediately turns to dust. Uh -huh. Natural wear and tear. Oh, natural. <laughs> What's this machine here? Smiling alchemist. I don't trust the alchemist. Although she's got the FF14 cat look. <laughs> uh, the Mikos. <laughs> no worries, dear customer. Tie with the string. It's as good as new. Well, you're selling a new one then. Uh, improve high quality products for low cost. A good deal, that's why. Not exactly, is this a good deal? <laughs> I found this one, so it cost me nothing to stock up. A good deal for me, I'll tell you what. What a waste of time. No, don't leave me, my beloved money! <laughs> I, I like this guy. <laughs> you still want to open a shop here? Just like my papa says, if a stinky shop like this can keep kicking around, that ain't the place to make cash. She got a big old duck! <laughs> Don't call me Pop out in public. It's Edric. What are you still doing following me? I want to be a traveling merchant. Lively merchant. Seeing the sights, eating delights, and because customers on the road really need stuff. You can really make a buck, you know? Supply and demand and supply and stuff. I feel like they're jumping between a lot of characters here. I'm not oh, sure who they're supposed to be focusing on. I guess. Well, they, they kind of light up when they talk. Yeah. I won't make the caravan look bad. I, I want to be a master merchant just like you. Okay, I'm going to get the goods ready, Mr. Edric. Yeah, it'd be good, didn't I, Mr. Edric? <laughs> Black Tiger. Beat him up. Oh, no! <laughs> no, the poor Yeen! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we talk about, we have a talk about path planning. How about going here? No, no, there's been bandit sightings in the forest there. It's practically suicide given our power. What about here? Nuh-uh. Demonic fiend scene there, too. Yeah, given our power. Yeah, yeah, basically suicide. We just need to gather suburbs for that injured granny. Know this, know that. Why don't we just stay here and drink? That's why I'm trying to play a good route. Aren't you already drinking? So what about here? Didn't I just say there are bandits in the forest? Dolly, are you even listening? <laughs> Staring at the waitress's butt. I mean, <laughs> it's not my birthday. I'm so keen on suicide, you might as well do it with that knife. All right, so I guess we leave here, and we can go to the shop. Oh no, it's his shop. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, a tear gas grenade. After using any item, inflicts cripple on the farthest enemy for a turn. Breaks after five activations. A fifty percent off flail. After the use of a two-card skill, inflicts frail on a target for one turn. Breaks after seven activations. A vintage hood. Start a battle. Allows you to draw one card. Breaks after five battles. The bloodthirsty dart. These are all consumables down here. Inflict gash plus six. At the, start, at the end of this turn, reduce HP according to the stack number. When a target with gash attacks, it gains gash stacks equal to the number of attacks. X. Equal to the number of attacks times the stack number. Ooh. Ooh, so so gas just kind of pops open if they keep attacking, which makes sense if you've got a gaping wound. <laughs> it's very durable. I'm no liar. Do you see my pants on fire? Yeah, it's a shuriken, not a dart. Yeah, gas is turbo bleed. Yeah, corrosion bottle, ten damage and frail for two turns, and simple armor, armor plus fourteen. 
cool. So all of this is cool, but I don't think I'm necessarily chomping at the bit for temporary boosted things. Yeah, it looks like you have to spend a, like you can afford stuff, but I might I might need the later. I might need exactly. So not be able to return to town after entering the world map. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. Mission stage two. All right, so we've got. Well, we've got one option this time. <laughs> Unshackled trial. You won't be tied up for this trial, really, unless you're into that kind of thing. All right, game. No, no king shaming me. I ain't king shaming nobody. All right, so at the end of this, we'll get an accessory and some money. <laughs> Buns like game. I'm not not okay with you. All right, so now we're getting into the group stuff. Let's see. He's gonna he's gonna heal, and then six damage total. So again, we can mini flush to get the defense performance started. Uh, in fact, we can mini flush to get the defense performance started again, and then I can play just a single card, and that should be enough to block everything. Again, so good. Uh, oh, when the countdown reaches zero, the character escapes. Ooh. He's going to inflict frail. He's going to inflict fragile. Okay. Uh, two pair is seven damage twice and draw a card. The one pair is six damage and temporary strength. I kind of like the two. Uh, can we try to finish that guy off quick? And that is a whole lot of not attacks. Okay, he's going to cast heal. He cast it on the wrong unit. That's fine. All right, now we got a full handful of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, our full house is big damage and frail. The three of a kind with strength and defense performance. Which, we're more focused on the defense here, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay, because we're frail... We're going to do less damage. Here's a question. Do we want, want to really focus on trying to take out that first guy before they run? Probably should, yeah. Because they might be worth, like, more money or something. So let's go for that hit. Uh, and draw a card. Uh, whatever I draw, I'll be able to block plenty, I think. So I should be able yeah. to do that. And then whatever I draw, I can just 7 and 7... And have all the armor. Mm -hmm. But now I didn't. I didn't draw a ton. Um, but I can play a single pair, do some more damage, and then he's only hitting me for two. But I'm drawing big, so hopefully I can. Hopefully I can finish him off next turn. Okay, and then the full house won't do quite enough, but I will then also have enough... How much does a pair do? That's only four. Four and the temporary strength. Oh, am I going to be one shy? That's going to be tragic. Womp womp. Sad. Okay. All right, well. So he'll he'll get away. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll two, get him next time. Correct. Two pair will do 14, so we can just finish this front guy off. And then he's going to do nine, so we can just... We're drawing a th two, a three, and a seven, so let's play the four and the six to block everything. If I didn't put my first attack on that guy, <laughs> on the second guy, it would have been just fine. Yeah. All right, full house and just crunch... And then one pair to finish him. 
Boosh. Ooh, a detective's pocket watch. Okay, so let's see, we got one pair and, and a couple of two pairs. Current, currently, our one player is the 5 damage and temporary strength plus 1. Uh, so this would be 7 damage and temporary strength plus 1. Well, these would be upgrades of what we already have. Correct. Compared to the one pair. Correct. But the, uh, I'm just looking at what we have versus what we'll get. So, like, this two, the 2 pair we have is the 6 damage, 2 times, and draw a card. Which, this is the upgrade there. But we could also replace it with tactical guard. Which is 4 armor... Two times, which boosted by the defense performance. Temporary defense performance plus one. Temporary card draw enhancement plus one. Hmm. It also looks like, like it's rarer, but... It, it does look like a neat ability... I like it because it's multiple guards. Again, if we, you know, we get ourselves set up to be... But we've already done that with the... Did we not put it on? I think we forgot to equip it. We might not have put it on. <laughs> but honestly... Do not change skills in a battle. I'll put that after. So yeah, I think we, we need to just keep an attack right now. Yeah. But I, th but I think the two pair might... Oh, well, alright. Uh, yeah, I was... I was going to say, maybe keep the two pair as, like, a payoff option. Yeah. And keep the full house as the big attack option. I don't know. Uh, Detective's Pocket Watch is a one-time use item. Draw three cards, then discard up to seven and draw new cards. That's kind of cool. Okay, hmm. so let's go, let's go back to our preparation. Let's switch that full house over to multi-wall, which is what we want. Whoops. I'm okay with this one being upgraded at the moment anyway, because it still draws cards. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a fight, which leads into whatever this is. But up here, we have a an exclamation mark, which could be anything. Arrive at the shores of the lake and see the guide bending down to pluck some flowers. Here's another one. Oh, hello there. Apologies for my grubby appearance. You look exactly the same as you have so far. What are you doing? Must not only lead the way, but provide material support. However, our official budget is limited, so I take odd jobs when you're facing the trials. Helping the villagers and providing you with better support, all at the same time. Boy, am I smart. Reward for this job is a wish stone. I think you can get whatever skill you want with it. Try it out. Oh. Attack skill, defense skill, or enhancement skill. Well, again, we want to... I'm hoping that we can find some sort of like a shield bash type attack at some point. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep doing it. So single or one pair, um, which just keep leveling up the single defense card. Uh, we said we're we're saving the one the one pair for offense. So, and again, the temporary defense performance is not what I'm looking for. So I think just keep leveling up the single shield card. There's still some power in the zone, so you continue to pray. Can I... Can I do it again? I can. Ooh. And once again, there's that tactical guard again. Or multi-wall boosted. Yeah, I think we just keep... Keep those. Alright, good luck on those tests. And we got some soul stones out of it. That was a pretty good... Guide fervently late waves goodbye. All right, now it looks like there's a traveling, traveling merchant. Aha! <laughs> Stuff that isn't going to fall apart. Perfect. And they're much yeah. more much more expensive, but that's why. Uh, the start of battle, hand limit enhancement plus one when there when there are three or more enemies. Well, so we have we'd have a max hand size of eleven instead of ten if there are three more enemies, which is kind of cool. Neat. But I don't. I currently haven't needed more than ten. A uh, horn helm. Uh, yeah, it's a bun. Uh, is it a bun? Uh, look, at the, look at that tail. Maybe it's a rat. I mean, I, uh, it's, it's an animal. <laughs> that. Oh, I mean, well, this is a bun. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Hornhelm. When taking damage for the first time each each battle, inflict Frail on the attacker for three turns. But hopefully I'm not going to take damage, if I can help it. Ring of Clarity. The start of the next battle after each rest. Hand limit, enhancement, plus one. So again, that's just once after each rest, versus this is on fights with three or more enemies. Yeah. And the Horned Helm is just, if I take, when I take damage, drop the attack. But it's only the first time each battle. Now, I know your item bag currently can only hold three items, and you've got two so far. That's true, but we can is, still look. Is there a limit to the number of relics you could have? I don't think so, but it, because like here it looks like it's slots, versus this has okay. just been filling up. Yeah. And then let's look. Uh, corrosion bottle, 10 damage and frail for two turns. Insect repellent removes bite, and all enemies gain half of your bite. Huh. And then an iron stab ball, 10 damage and fragile for two turns. I... I mean, I kind of like Art of War Stratagem, because honestly, when yeah. you're facing multiple enemies, that's when you want extra cards. Yeah. Plus, it's relatively cheap, so. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do it. Sand coins. Alright, and then, because of the pathing here, we can't go down and see what that is, but we can go to a campfire. Yeah. Which is rest and meditation. Woohoo! I don't... I don't have enough soul stone fragments. Ah, but if I can, I can spend ten to max out the single shield card. But I, Ooh. but I do still really want to save up for these. Yeah, because that's gonna be ten to max that out. Are they gonna be? I'm gonna be spicy, and I don't need a heal, but I'll do it anyway, and then we leave. All right, boss time. Surrounded by spiders. Great. Time to eat, my children. She throws a rabbit into the air. The large spider covers it in a web, and the smaller spiders pounce on it. Soon only the rabbit's bones remain. Bun, look away! <laughs> Do you like spiders? They're excellent hunters and obedient soldiers, though aesthetically somewhat lacking. Until I raise this cutie pie. I believe that man's means of control is not a matter of matter, but of how to bind the mind. There's nothing restricting your movements, yet you are paralyzed by fear. Suddenly stretches out her arms and clutches herself in a tight embrace. Seeing such an anxious and helpless expression just makes me so excited. Come, kitty, let me hear your cries of regret and despair. Alright, well, we're gonna fight. Hey, look! Three enemies! Beautiful! Max hand size is 11. Uh, a couple of little attacks. This one's doing a, a web thing. Uh, which I can't scroll to see exactly what that does. Inflicts temporary card some... Oh, there it goes. Temporary card draw weakened on the attacker. Ooh. Missed a lot of the story so far. There hasn't really been a whole lot of story so far. Okay. Been, like, I like how they have some extra optional dialogue when you go to town. Yes. Uh, it's mostly flavor, but I like it. As usual, let's let's get started with setting up the the defense performance. And the temporary strength doesn't do a whole lot for us, so I actually think we just put up a shield to block all this and then hold. All right, that's fair. Make a bigger attack next turn. Exactly. Hey, here's the straight, which is the attack three times and hit two targets. The second and third attacks hit random targets. Uh, the full house could be nuts. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ugh, the webs. They're terrible. Uh, so, seven damage coming through. Uh, our three of a kind is the um, strength and defense performance plus one. Which, honestly, I think i would going to get rid of this at some point and get something better. But 
but it's like it's technically just better than our our mini flush. It's just the mini flush is currently easier to do. Uh, I think I go spicy here, and we do the two pair. Try to get, whittle this guy down. Yes, we're gonna get more even worse card draw next turn. But uh, four, five, six, seven, perfect. Oh, I forgot. That's gain armor equal to the number of enemies times two. So we're going to gain six armor every turn while they're all up. Uh, also, we just, just, just. Ow! That's, uh, that's not okay. Honestly, I, I just do nothing. More spider webs. I'm just going to have terrible card draws. Oh, another straight. Perfect. Uh, let's start by targeting this guy because I want to. No. Try to get try to get him down. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Uh, and then. Boosh. And then I'll gain six on top of that. So that's going to be. 13, and that's 12, and then 8. Yeah, I gotta play that too. Oh, it's. <laughs> I would like to it's mini five. flush to set up more defense performance, but uh, he's gonna do 16. Once again, I'm gonna gain 6. Uh, so actually, yeah, let's, let's put up another defense performance and then just armor up. Take no chances. I'll play super defensive. Uh, the one pair isn't all that exciting, so I'm, I'm going to draw a full hand and go for, go for broke next turn. Hope that I can get another straight. There we go. Yeah, I, I can do the full house and gain just all of the armor, but that's straight. Uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, honestly, one pair will not be enough to kill him. Dang. Just a little defensive. Just a smidge of defense. Just a, Just a smidge. little defense. As a treat. Uh, honestly, I think we just keep that and hit him real hard next turn. We just do like... Uh, that should be... I'm going to gain four, which should be plenty. Yeah. And by plenty, I mean exactly enough, which is plenty. <laughs> uh, okay, again with the straight, and just bop, bop, bop. I uh, don't really need... Yeah, bop, bop. The one pair gives me the temporary strength... I don't have a four of a kind equipment, which is a little sad. Um, so I would do 13 damage. Yeah, I think that's fine, honestly. Yeah, because that finishes him off, right? Uh, no, not quite. Oh, never mind. It gets him. It gets him low enough that I should be able to. Yeah, I don't have any four of a kind equipment. Uh, doesn't even look like it's an option on here, so I don't know if it's something I could pick up later. And he's going to swing for 12. I'm only going to get two out of the night shield, but... Boosh, boosh. And then... Well, that's a terrible draw, but he's not attacking, so I'll just hold it. And then, boosh, two pair. Beautiful. No damage. Defeat the, Cle the Clawed Spider Queen in Story Scene 1. 
Okay, so the one pair, I can get charge. One pair, deal of damage and armor plus five. Hey. It's only one damage, though, but it is armor on top of damage. And then... Or I can upgrade the heavy blade to do a little bit more damage. But I, I kind of like the... I'm I'm looking in for an ability that doesn't might not even exist yet. Pass the trial. No rebel, leave me alone. Just joking. Nah, she's she's gonna survive. Look, the spiders needed to eat. I'm sorry. Uh, hand limit plus two. Wow, these are just good ones. Hand limit plus two, and then at the start of battle, one energy shield. Uh, hand limit plus two, after completing a path node, sand coins plus 25. This effect is lost the first time you enter a shop. That seems sad. Card draw plus one, starting hand plus one. If there are no cards in hand at the end of the turn, draw two cards. I, I think that that is so much better than a, a bigger hand limit. Just drawing seven cards per turn instead of six. Yeah. The hand limit... Like, who cares? We could just draw cards yeah. to replace them. Like, the hand limit, I think, is going to come in handy later on, but drawing more cards permanently? Yes, please. Yeah, because yeah, who cares about the card limit? If you're drawing more cards, it means you can pitch more cards, knowing you're going to draw back up to full anyway. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't need to meditate, but now I can go and enhance ability. Let's get the defense performance plus two. Meditate yeah. once. Boosh. Daily meditation complete. And I can still do these ones. How does how does this upgrade? Three damage and an extra armor. That's that is I mean, worth it, I think. I mean it says daily meditation completed. I don't think you can do it. Ow! Sage. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> well, look, it went from night to day. I thought maybe I could, it was a new day. Alright. <laughs> I am technically correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> yes. Scott would agree the spiders do not need to eat. You're not wrong. Congrats on passing the Astral Devil's Trial. Today I'll take you to the Temple of Coins to receive your blessing. Normally it would count as a little vacation, but a bunch of monsters recently crawled out from the deep in the forest. It's probably going to be a dangerous trip. Mm, forget it. You rest at the end. I'm going to go scope out the route. Grabs bag, rises to her feet. No need to worry. If things get dangerous, I'll just chuck a smoke bomb and escape. Back. Ah! She immediately trips. Y'all right, lass. Blue Knight. He's so sad. <laughs> oh. Your bag. Oh, no. She lost, She left her bag. Your bag. Oh. Uh, I'll She's return it. I'm sad. I'll return it to her. Very well. I wish you safe travels. <laughs> Take Yo. the bag and head off to find the guide. The Blue Knight is... Uh, is Eeyore now. Oh, we got an, <laughs> an, an important letter. Side of the tavern, two men are kneeling on the ground. Rebel is sitting sitting on their back, snacking on an apple. Gosh dang it, Rebel. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Are you Rebel, the astral devil? What might the matter be, little monkey? She doesn't look like a monkey. <laughs> exactly. A silly preacher. <laughs> we'll see about that. Mr. Rebel, this is from the Archbishop. And then lowers her head and presents the letter with both hands. I refuse. Take it back. Please, Mr. Bell, this letter is very important. How can you refuse? That geezer is always making others do his dirty work for miserable pay. You'll have to find someone else. Unless... Unless? Unless you're willing to pay a bit more. Bring that here closer, monkey. Impossible. I can't do that. Well, little monkey, I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Good news first, of course. There's a cute little kitty cat that I want to play with, so I'll be in town a bit longer, which means you have a few days. The bad news... After I'm done here, I'm going traveling. Where, you might ask? Could be a fiery volcano, or a blizzard-ridden gorge. <laughs> Strokes the face with the back of her finger. As you know, there's nothing more alluring than a mysterious woman with a hint of danger about her. I'll start looking for it immediately. <laughs> Alright, we'll learn something about someone's hometown. As always, your grace, sand coins and a letter... The glorious Grey Mouse Fleet will deliver anything but the sun itself. Oh, look at that guy. He's got like an axe and some... Is that dynamite? Or are those torches? 
I can't quite uh, tell. They might be potions. Maybe potions. I got like a little rope stopper or something or a fuse. Yeah. I can't quite tell. I'll take care of this. Smacks his chest with his fist. I cannot thank you enough. I shall take my leave. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> bye bye, my lord. Hey, Mandel. <laughs> you know it's time to pay the interest on your debt. Huh, oh, Mr. Edric, that. I. I still have one week. The iron ball in Edric's hand wails. You know you're gonna gamble it all away. This is for your own good. <laughs> Black Tiger! Wait, that's the money the Blue Knight needs to send home. Send home? Pfft, I'm not as stupid as that chivalrous chump. His hometown was engulfed by fiends long ago. You're just using his trust and ignorance to steal his cheese. Edric takes the money in the letter. Rat Knight sure knows how to take care of his family. What's with the face? Not happy with our little arrangement? <laughs> what? Me? Of course not. These sand coins will knock off two months of interest. And here, take a few coins to buy some booze and drink them sorrows away. And thank you, Mr. Edric. Black Tiger, let's hit it. Pfft, trash. Yeah, I don't like him either. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go check out the shop. Ah, oh, yeah! Here we go. After winning a battle, heal four. Breaks after five activations. Flail. Night. There's the flail again. Breathable boots. After using a buff skill, temporary card draw enhancement. Breaks after eight activations. Guard maker. Deals ten. <laughs> the guard maker. Deals ten damage and inflicts cripple for a turn. I used to be an adventurer. <laughs> I see. I get it. <laughs> and then a strength potion. And then an insect repellent. Oh, these are really cheap. Which is helpful, but I don't think I need them. Uh, once again, looks like the only one option for the path. An accessory and an item. Find Mistasa, the one who shows the path to the temples. Alright, so that's again three enemies, so that'll be six armor from the night shield. Hey, the Sasquatch are a dirty hamster. Yes. Uh, they are swinging for a lot of early damage, though, which is a lot. That is a lot. Uh, but I could potentially. This one's doing 14, so let me see if I can't. And now he's this one. Now this one's only doing seven, and I've got three defense performance. So, boosh! All of the armor. Hit me with the frail, which is a little sad. Oh, the draw seven is so good. It is so good. Uh, let's do. Oh, that's a little sad with with the with the frail on here. So maybe we don't do that. Gain all of the armor. That's so much armor. Good loud. <laughs> Bun's already sleepy. <sighs> Understandable. And then hold that for next turn because we have just all the armor in the world. Okay. Bop, bop. Finish him off. Hey, look, another two pair. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. And not quite enough to kill, but he's also not attacking, so I'm just going to do it. And then just bop, bop, bop. <laughs> nice and easy. Bop, bop, bop. We're, we're getting places. Uh, three of a kind, or mini flush. Uh, the three of a kind is the one that I... Don't care as much about. So what's this one? That's another attack. That could, could be kind of nice. Oh, it levels up with a kind of attack. Yep, but it's a different a different card than what I've got, even. Oh. 
Because the, the three of a kind that I have is the strength plus one and defense performance plus one. Hmm. That might be worth keeping. That might be worth taking then. Yeah. So I think another attack will be pretty good. Yeah. So let's make sure we go in here, make sure we put that on. The Battle Spirit is technically a higher rarity, but I don't need it as much. It's either that or I keep the three of a kind and try to find a better um, a better mini flush. Because technically speaking, the defense, defense and strength is better than just defense. Uh, all right, so we didn't get to see what this one was last time, so we're going to stick in this middle path. And what's good, Avarice? Uh, all sorts of things are good. I don't know. <laughs> we're trying a new game. It's Ooh, They have armor. They do have a lot of armor. They have buffs. The entire team gains armor plus 16 at the start of the turn. Oof. Oh, that's going to be 16 armor at the start of every turn. Every turn. turn. So I'm going to have to punch through that. So that needs to die so first. He needs to die first. Uh, honestly, yeah. Let's just let's just get rid of him. And then this guy's not even attacking, so I can save those for next turn. Nice and easy. And then two pair is nice because it's two hits, and then lets me draw. Two pair and lets me draw. And I didn't. If I had gotten a pair, I could have just ended him. But I didn't. So we just. Armor. <sighs> Alright, we got a thing. We got a thing going. And then he's super dead. That wasn't nearly as bad as it looked at first. Okay. Uh, that is the mini flush upgrade, but I'm still not convinced I need it. Uh, but the full house, the full house is our multi wall, which I'm not getting rid of either. So I might as well just upgrade this for now. All right, let's go see what praising the sun looks like. Praise the sun, goddess of swords. Pray, get a rare or below Epe's item. Offer seven soul stones, get a common Epe's accessory. Or 20 soul stones, get a rare Epe's accessory. Uh, accessories are just better than items as far as I'm concerned, because these are single use. These are permanent passive. So yeah. I would love to do the 20, but I don't quite have enough. But, you know, an accessory is an accessory. Is... Exactly. So we got Epe's dart. Uh, deal damage equal oh, to the number picked. of enemies times three. Number of enemies times three to random enemies at the start of the turn. So that's just free damage every turn. Mm. Uh, after each card draw, deal four damage to a random enemy. So if I lean into <laughs> card draw, that could be pretty good. After each eighth enemy killed, when completing a path, grants Epe's Net, which is an item that inflicts flaw. Interesting. So these uh, are just damage. Yeah, so this is damage equal to three times the number of enemies to... Deals damage equal to the number of enemies times three to random enemies at the start of the turn. So if there's one enemy, it will do one damage three times. If there's three enemies, it'll do three damage three times. But this is four damage to a random enemy each time I draw a card. So I can lean into that with, like, the two-pair draws a card, the multi-wall draws cards, the mini-flush gets me temporary card draw. Uh, also, if that counts if that counts card drawn at the start of each turn, could Ooh. be potentially a lot. So I don't think we're going to try that out. The mage character is very cute, yes. And I think I want more events rather than fights. Glimmers of fire that it's gonna whiff of barbecued meat. Yes. Oh, it's you, friend. Short fox and gumps jumps down from a tree with his back to you. Dolly, it's safe now. Come on out. Huh? Forget I said anything. Hey friend, the stronger oh, cut guy goes today. How about some roast meat? It's always the rabbits. You ever not step on a trap on your way here? Eh? Oh no, bud, cover your ears. Enjoying yourself, huh? I'm about taking some to go. Of course, I'm going to need some compensation. Or if you want to hunt some yourself, I also sell traps. 
Sand coins and soul stone fragments both work for me, but I'm not selling my booze. Well, I'm keeping my fragments, so let's look at with coins. Barbecue meat, which I'm assuming is going to be heal. A trap, or a trap-making manual. I mean, that's going to be a relic, right? That sounds like it. I get the feeling the trap making manual is like what we saw with you. Uh... Yeah, it is a relic. Uh, after resting at a campfire, grants two poison gas devices. Okay. Huh. Oh, and I can just keep going. Huh. But I don't think I need it. Yeah. Oh, I can at least look. Oh, and it's just the same thing, but it's just. Okay. I don't think you need any meat. Yeah. Oh, it's a red knight! I smelled that roast meat from far away. And why, if it wasn't you two crazy cookies cooking up a storm in such a treacherous place? Rude as ever, you rascal, and still lacking friends, I presume. <laughs> Shut up, I have a few more than I did before. And you, Fluffy, can't face me? Haven't cured your phobia? Welcome, welcome. Here, have some meat. I'm sorry, bun. And bun bunnies are apparently good hunting. I propose Red Knight be Tigger. I thought about it. I can't do a good Tigger voice. Because I thought the same thing after the Eeyore bit. <laughs> Get lost, you wicked. The, the number of shadows keeps increasing every time we see this guy. It's Oh, no. Not cute guide. No, cute guy. Don't eat me. Fish is so much better. Fish is pretty good. And then, bink. Oh, it's only one. Look at that. Four damage right at the start of turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So he's going to swing for 15. If I do the straight, I'll have, I can get enough block. It'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, eight times three. Ooh. The revenge. Honestly, I'm just playing it super safe. Eight times three. Oh, hey, another straight. Bot, bot, bot. <laughs> And then six times five. Oh, I don't have nearly enough armor this time. Whoops. It's okay. This is the boss. Oh, that's true. Uh, I took some damage. Oh, no. A small amount of damage. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> My one weakness. Oh, hey, look. A guard maker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can upgrade the one pair to three damage and armor six. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, our two pair is currently an attack, and I don't, I don't want to change that. So yeah, let's upgrade the one pair. And let's then a guard. Do it. Pair, which. All right. I need to start using. I need to start using my items. Considering the next time I hit a campfire, I'm getting two more items. Yeah. Close your eyes and place your hands together. Thank you to the great stars and Zodi for allowing us to meet again. Here's your bag, you dingus. <laughs> Why don't I just head to the Temple of Coins? A necklace that is divided into four sections. A club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. The necklace is the key of Arcana. It can collect blessings and guide you on your way. The Temple of Coins is protected by a magic barrier. Anyone who approaches without the key of Arcana will get lost, so take good care of it. Continue on with the guide, arriving at a sacred, solemn-looking temple. Idol of the goddess of coins stands in the center of the temple, shining with a dazzling light. Hold the key tight and say a prayer. Pray for something you want. Abundance. Get a common accessory and three common items. Ooh. 200 to 400 coins. Or get a common increase accessory and an item trigger accessory. Ooh. Huh. I mean, accessories are better, right? Yeah. Uh, we just had this conversation, although that's a ton of money. But no, nah, accessories. Oh, don't get a choice on this one, though. Uh, when picked up, grants Daenerys wine offerings. Uh, after completing a path node, if you don't have Daenerys, Daenerys, 
Deniers wine offerings, grant this item. Hmm. Which lets me at any time just spend coins to draw cards. Okay. And then after using any item, sand coins plus ten. Ah, okay. You can so, spam items. So that's a that's a good combo. So I still need to have forty to use that one item, but then it'll give me ten back for doing it. Yeah. What you get? Let me see. Let me see. Nah. And then we run into the forest. Half fiendish boy. Not half fiendish. I know, right? Accessories on another item. That that was. After every ten attacks with an attack skill in battle, it allows you to draw a card. A random enemy gains frail for two turns at the start of the battle. Or after resting, HP plus ten percent. Uh, do we? We don't necessarily go for quick battles, but the, the combo gloves is basically just going to be like, yeah, card draw is nice, uh, and it'll just it'll just give us a little bit of card draw eventually. Yeah. And then an item which charge plus ten, which is attack plus ten percent per stack, but removed after using attack. Removes bite, and then all enemies gain all a bite or strength plus one. Uh, I think. I'm going to take the strength potion. Oh, hold on. See, that one kind of wish we had the item pouch, but we had no items when we got that, so. I'd like to point out, I can equip three items, but my but I can hold more than that. Oh. That's really good. So, like, I can keep this at the pocket watch for a, for a rainy day and then have the wine offerings here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Save like the, the strength potion and the pocket watch for the next big boss. I'm full on items, but I've got, okay. So that, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I like that. All right. Heal the full. Meditate and 14. What have I done? So sad. <laughs> Instant regret. Yeah, once again, I kind of want to just. I want to save up for agility because just card draw plus one, right? Like. Cost 30 me... to upgrade, though. Yeah. The first one costs 15. Each The next one costs 30. But, I'm, like, I'm looking at all of the rest of these. The strength is nice, but not needed. Converting temporary strength into armor is nice, but I don't really do temp strength. After winning a battle, HP plus 10. If that is, yeah, if that's max HP, that's great. I'm Mitch. assuming that that's a heal, but I don't know. It's probably a heal. Uh, the agility sounds pretty good, though. The agility but... sounds really good, because card draw plus one on its own. But I think I could get that and that. The might, I've already got the might, and then if I get the agility, and then I can start focusing on just upgrading my cards... I think agility is just too good, so let's just start saving up. Alrighty. Hello, get enough sleep? Uh, never. <laughs> yeah. Have to take on the trial of the Scepter of Fire. No, you're not the you're not them, are you? Decided to stay a few more days. With the next examiner being him, it's rare I get to see such a new toy to play with. I won't let anyone break it. Ground shakes violently and loud rumbles can be heard outside the cow. Uh, isn't card draw also damage for you? Yes, more card draw is also damage. Although it looks like it's per instance of card draw, so drawing more cards looked like it only still did one damage. It only did four damage at the start of the turn, so I think it's per instance of drawing cards rather than per card. I can show that off in the next fight. <laughs> oh, my new move. Pretty neat, huh? Well, you look like a tool. <laughs> he is the truliest of tools. Man wearing elaborate armor and wielding a lance stands in the middle of the road, bellowing with laughter. You've ruined the road. How unsightly. Let go. Bidding. Dragons around here stink. Finally, a battle that might be a bit of fun. No. <laughs> Morning, Carnesius. He's the astral sun. Okay, yep. Mistasa. <laughs> the sun shines bright today.
Oh, yeah, that's true. The, the thing that lets me spend coins to draw cards could be really powerful. You are correct. But I need to get a lot of coins. That's the trick. <laughs> I'm trying to let you more than you can handle. I think I'm doing just fine. You're doing fine. You're doing great. Supplies burst into flames. Burst into flames. This stuff is trash. Take what you like. I don't want none of your sh... Okay, maybe. Hold on. <laughs> At the start of turn, remove frail and cripple. Just passive? Forever? So that's just like, yeah, that's... Okay. Just basically immune... Well, it doesn't give you immunity. Yeah, it's not immunity, things, but... but... Yeah. Uh, Barbarian Belt, charge plus five at the start of battle, which lets me have one strong, one strong attack at the start of battle, which Eek. that's a Lee kind of item right there. And then every fourth path <laughs> node you complete grants an air cannon, which is an item that deals 60 damage. Jeez. That's kind of crazy. you keep going the, like, spam items route? The that's spam items route is funny. very funny. But it's every fourth path node I get one. Yeah, but then every two, and then every campfire, you also get two things. So yeah. you just get stuff, and you just spam them at every opportunity. It's true. But at the same time, near immunity to frail and cripple. That is really good. At the very least, you will never suffer the effects of those for longer than one round. Yeah. And I'm, I'm already struggling to hold all my items... I've got two. I've got two different things that are now making me items. Having three things make me items. I'm just. I'll, I'll never get through these fast enough. <laughs> hey, a floofy. I think I'll take the, the ginseng. As for you, devil woman, no tricks. Take your time. <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> No tricks. Pfft. These two are terrible. All right. Accommodation. Oh, we've already done that. All right. Looking for someone. Excuse me. Have you seen this person? The nun takes out a portrait. Favism. Abstract. No, no, no. Definitely expressionism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Fox and the man shout out at the same time. I wasn't asking for an analysis. I'm looking for this person. What a terrifying aura he's got about him. Is this a demon or something? Whether you be a demon or a beast, I'll slay him for you. That's my brother. <laughs> oh, so your brother's a demon? Your kind of church would be interested in that. <laughs> Told you not to show anyone that portrait. It's no use talking. What you need is our, what you need is your medicine. Open wide. I'm not sick. <laughs> What's up with all the brouhaha? <laughs> I don't know. I think you're a little sick. <laughs> They're all laughing at my drawing. Come here, take a look. Such a unique style. Such a handsome fellow, isn't he? He went missing half a year ago, so I've been looking for him. Have you seen him? Not that I can remember. Her ears trembling fear. Okay, I'll ask some other people. Excuse me, have you seen this person? Take my money, just don't get any closer. Black Tiger, get this sort of piece of trash away from me. All right, then. <laughs> Go to the shop. Uh, Amulet of Speed allows you, after the use of a five-card skill, allows you to draw a card. Breaks after ten uses. That's that's still pretty good. Yeah. Right, but it's uh, it'll break eventually, which is sad. Oh, just a card draw potion. I gotta save my money now, because I got the the flagon. Once again, one option for the path, so I don't know why it keeps giving me a select path option. Remember to watch your hygiene. I found a cave filled with asphyxiating poison. Yeah, so you see, I drew a full hand, but I just did four damage. That's all. Yeah, f essentially 30 coin. 
Mountains. Can you go back and do Older Path? It doesn't look like I can just yet. Um, yeah, drawing three coins is uh, drawing three cards is nice, but that's I will run out of money very quickly at thirty coins per card draw. But yeah, but remember, every three arms you use, you get that that'll pay for it. Yes, that's that's true. Hey, screw it. Stab. Ten coins. Alright. Just doing four damage. Uh, one, four, four, two, three, four. I'll play, play the seven. Mm -hmm. Plot, plot, plot. And then just end it quick. End it quickly. Okay. Uh, just keep leveling up the one pair. Okay, we've got an event up here. We've got praying at the statue here. And then we've got a, a shop down here. Uh, I'm hmm. going to... Hey, leave that be for now. Since I clearly need to just save my money, let's just go to the <laughs> let's go to the altar. Ah, the cups, idol. The cup. Pray to just gain soul stone fragments. Oof. Ooh. Uh, offer sand coins. Select a common coup or defense or soul stone fragment accessory. Offer a lot of sand coins to get a rare coup or defense or stole stone fragment accessory. I know I'm supposed to be saving money for the flagon, but rare accessories. I'm, I might have posted something in Discord just now. I'm going to do it. Sincerity to the god. What do we got? Uh, the beginning of battle gain frost resistance. Hey, look, frost it does exist in this game. Oh. Uh, after you each use of a three-card or greater defense skill, inflict frail for two turns on the nearest enemies. Hey, that's what we want to go lean into. And the thinking cap, card draw plus one, or minus one, starting hand minus one, but hand limit plus two. If yeah. I had a ton of card draw, this would be good, but I don't have a ton ton. I have decent. But, I mean, I use three-card block skills all the time. I don't think that thing can be so great because because like, if you had a bunch of card draw, you wouldn't want to nerf it all. Well, it makes my hand limit bigger. Yeah, but that's just ugh. you're not likely to hit your hand limit if all of your card draw is minus one. No, no, no. That, that's the the card draw at the start of at the start of turn minus one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not minus one for all card draw. Oh, once again, this guy's just got to go. Oh, those are a lot of health on those guys, too. Jeez. Uh, yeah, let's just go for defense here. Let's do... Uh, elemental Jerk again. Let's do the Mini Flush. To set up the the defense, and then we do a full house to gain all of the armor. For no good reason. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, see, with a spell like that, yeah, that, that feels a problem. really bad. It's okay. Uh, and I'm going to gain six armor, so I gotta do something to gain some here. Alright, well, this is where items are gonna come in handy here. So let's do.
Okay, I'm gonna do a one pair to gain a temporary strength point. And then I'm gonna do a three of a kind and hit them like that. Then I'm gonna hit him like that. And then I'm going to use the the, the wine to draw more cards. Mm, wine. And then finish that guy off so he stops putting armor up on everybody. And then block. There we go. Your <laughs> way, what happened? Nothing, bun. We're more more of the same. Uh, full house is just so much armor, but we don't really need it this turn, so we just three of a kind and go wham. They have to worry about their stupid defense. Exactly. Oh yes, Bun, there is frost in game, that's true. We haven't seen it, but we've seen a thing that prevents frost, so clearly that means there's frost somewhere. Makes me worry about how not very useful it is to have frost resistance if we're this far in. Like, I feel like we're a reasonable amount into the game. Yeah, like, we're about, yeah, we're still we're about the, the halfway area, point, I think. Okay, so three of a kind is, again, ten damage to all enemies twice. Uh, and we can do... Depending on what we draw... Let's do. Let's do that to get a temporary strength point. Honestly. Uh, yep. Yeah. Kill that guy. Now he's not attacking, so we don't need to put up any armor. What about the glory of fire? I'm sure there's fire somewhere. And then we just super wreck that guy. Now we took <laughs> quite a bit that time because poison damage got through all of the armor. Uh, once again, our one pick. I just realized all this time. Oh, we've been using one pair for the heavy blade for the temporary strength. We're supposed to be using uh -huh. this. We're supposed to be using this one. So I don't need the one pair. Uh, the two pair is the attack and draw cards. So we don't want to replace that one. And the mini flush, the mini flush is the one that I'm not 100% sure I need to keep. So what is this one? Uh, inflicts two damage, inflicts fragile for two turns, and temporary card draw. That's not bad. Hold yeah, that's not it. bad. At the very least, you can hold on to it as options down the, down the road. Yes. Uh, oops. All right, so the one pair is supposed to be the protection blade. Whoa, that... <laughs> Hello, game. There we go. There we go. So did the game auto-fill your items. I was not paying attention. Yes, it does. So if I don't okay. remember to do it, it will do it on its own. Okay, so if I turn the mini flush into an attack and take turn the three of a kind back to the battle spirit... Like the three of a kind is potentially a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't think Battle Spirit's all that great, to be honest. And then I'll keep the Mini Flush as the defense, then. I mean, I mean, Mini Flush, like, it's... Because it's... It's what... How many cards just to give, like, a plus one strength and plus one defense? Well, but it's... It, so it's it's three cards for the Mini Flush... And the okay. defense performance is all of your defense for the rest of the fight gets plus one, and that True. doesn't and that doesn't go down, which we don't necessarily need, but 
it, it can be helpful. And currently, that's the only way that we have to set up more defense performance. Right. Which is either the three, the a mini flush, which is three of a flush, or we can do the three of a kind to get defense and strength. Okay. But then we have to, we're trading an attack for a defense, and then it's question mark. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go to my items. Uh, items. Uh, take that off and put the wine back on. Uh, we could probably do another statue, but if we go here, we can get more items, which will let us make more money. <laughs> so we do our rest, and then we, when we leave, we'll gain the traps. And then meditate, which we don't quite have 30, so we're going to save up a little bit more. The art in this is very nice, but then when we leave it's the nice. campfire, now that should... If we go to items, we have two poison gas devices. Which is... Yeah. Poison gas trap. When taking damage, it inflicts poison equal to the number of stacks... To the number of stacks times the number of times damage is taken, removed after taking damage. So I'm going to hold the watch. Honestly, I'm going to hold... No, I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm going to use the herb. So I want to take that back off, and I'm just going to go nuts. <laughs> this is where the mission is supposed to take place. That's weird. Why would Cornelius choose such a damp cave? The entrance of the cave is a sign that says, Only the trial taker may enter. Why well, does Sephiroth do this? <laughs> well, have fun. <laughs> You're a little late, buddy. Almost missed it. Missed what? That guy? <laughs> Battle or ask again. Get another reward and punishment. What? I'm I'm gonna push him. What does beating them have to do with courage? You know after you beat them, so get going. Or the devil's going to return. You dare hurt my budly cuddies? Cuddly I... buddies? No, it's Budly <laughs> Cuddles. I... What? Oh. So now I have to choose which one I want to do. Gain soul stone fragments but lose coins. Gain coins but lose fragments. I'm going to fight. Get the fragments. This is, this is my trial. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, soul stone gain. All right. So... Let's put up a go let's put up both poison traps. Um we want early on we do want these mini flushes to set up the thing. Um look at that protection blade. Six damage and eleven armor for yeah, two for okay. a pair. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, okay, I resist my criticism on the small flush. And then, well, already blocking everything, but another pair is not that bad anyway. Uh, and yep, and because there are three enemies, we get a plus one, plus one hand limit. So we have 11 hand limit. Uh, three of a kind, that hits everybody. Yeah. Boosh. Hey, look, three of a kind, that hits everybody. Boosh. Uh, they're, he, they're both going to poison me, and then he's going to hit for nine. Blocked it. You did it. It's a 14 to peed. Yeah, it's not that much. <laughs> All right, now we're poisoned, which is a little sad. Hey, look, three of a kind. That hits everybody. Boosh. Hey, look, three of a kind. That hits everybody. Boosh! Hey, look! Oh, I don't need a don't need the three of a kind again. So now that's twenty damage. But I don't need the three of a kind, so I think I'll save a card. And I don't think armor blocks the poison, unfortunately. It does not. Ah, straights are nice because that's a whap whap whap. He's not even attacking, so. Blech. Now he's attacking. 
again with the straight. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, I'm going to use the herb because I want the coins. And then finish him. Boosh! Defeat the Fiendish Centipede. New skill. Uh, full house. Mini flush. Ooh, defense performance plus two. Ooh. Huh. And considering our two pair... Gain four armor three times, defense performance plus one, and then the temporary card draw. That is... That is your two pair, though. It is our two pair, right. Which is currently two damage, or eight damage twice, draw a card. Which is currently pretty good. But that but defense performance plus two mini flush might be worth... Might be worth keeping that, yeah. I just... yeah. Because of the defense performance that we've already got, this is... That two pair would be so much armor. But I think we'll just do we'll do that one for now, because we we got a thing. And then a corrosive bottle, which is fine. What do you take the sacred pilgrimage for? Keep scolding him. If you weren't such a b witch wanted to come to this, report this to the Archbishop, you'll see. Yeah, all my money! How dare you? And then I got most of it back. <laughs> Alright, new accessory. Guarantees a battle item when... Guarantees a dropped item when a battle is won. Card draw plus one! Just, and more things. But card draw plus one! <laughs> yeah. Uh, the start of a battle inflicts fragile on a random enemy for a turn. Or... If no attack skills are used during the current turn, at the end of the turn, temporary hand limit and temporary card draw plus three each. That's cool. Card draw plus one, yeah. thanks. <laughs> yeah, like, card draw plus one, everything else on there is irrelevant. Card draw plus one, like, I mean, the other stuff is just gravy, I should say. Yeah, I'm currently Not up relevant, to being able but... to draw eight cards per turn, which... Means I can basically just play my entire hand every turn and not have to worry about holding back cards. That just feels nuts. Yeah. Alright, and then I can go enhance my skill. Oh, hey, look, card draw plus one. <laughs> Bam! I'm now drawing all of the cards every turn. I'm How going do to I guess. Hold all of these cards. How do I hold all these cards? That just. Cornelius, she says, is from the Archbishop. There's that letter again. Let me see. Boy, it has been boring. Finally, some juicy action. Flings the letter and it bursts into flames. Would you people stop with this? Contents of this letter are top secret. Was I wrong to burn it? <laughs> what do these people have against the silly preacher and her letters? I know, she's just trying to do her job. She's just a silly little preacher. Let uh, her do her job. Hey, Brad, these two, like, why are these, there's still two more that I got to meet. And if they're as bad as you two idiots. The priests are all asses. We, we found two of the four priests so far and they're, she's too horny to live and he's just a dick. <laughs> All right, chat. All right. Oh, the treasure tattle. That sounds like... I'm going to find a treasure tattle. Treasure tattle. <laughs> the, nun, monk, the nun slams the monk on the table. <laughs> yeah, she also kills Bunny. That's true. <laughs> I have news. The treasure tattle has been spotted in the eastern forest. Let's go get it. The eastern forest... That's right, where the pathetic bandits are hiding out. Here in rumors they found the devil blade. Sacred stars, why do you have to do this to me? Could this be a test from Zweddy? It has to be! Ah, my knee! Be an honor to face the devil blade in combat. Eh, get up already. Aren't you pressed for time? We're bodyguards, not babysitters. Hold on, one more drink. Ah, sacred stars, why do you have to do this to me? The whole body's gonna fall apart. She's drunk as a bat. What have you been giving her to drink? Apple juice. <laughs> All right. That tracks. That tracks. 
Now nah, it's Tigger. I was told you could get your hands on any intel. Scum, blast of a fool, it's Mr. Edric. The iron ball in his hand wails. Hey, but aren't you a toad? I mean, you're probably not married, but Mr. still fits, right? Ah, lowly toads got a ring like this, style like mine. And they don't have wheelchairs either. <laughs> Understood. Good. Now, from now on, you'll call me. The wheelchair brand is Edric. Fancy. Bastard! <laughs> It's not looking good. The fight's about to break out. Relax, something's gonna happen. As for you, it looks like we won't be able to buy what you're looking for. Or we can switch merchants. What about that Papillon lassie over there? Peachy, stop biting the customer's clothes. You're gonna hurt your tummy. Which one's Peachy? Probably the duck. It's Miss Stranger's adopted daughter. She's also a merchant, not nearly as difficult to deal with as the old man himself. Let's ask her. Rotten, dirty, scummy scum. I don't care about you pay. I ain't selling. What if I offer you my services? Crimson Comet is my employee. Hmm. Ten tasks, that's it. Yes, yes. What? One. I'm booked so far into the future, you'll be dead by the time I'm free. Bastard! <laughs> Papa, I've got some business to attend to, so I gotta leave for a bit. Don't call me Papa, I'm public and Tedrick. Okay, okay, but don't leave the city. Yes, Mr. Edric. Follow? Yes. Oh, listen in on the Foxkins deal, or stay to listen in on the Red Knights deal? Nah, I'm gonna follow the merchant. Uh, sure, I can get some, but one bottle's going to cost you 20,000 sand coins! Haha, uh -huh. that's, that's a little more than I can... Yeah, I couldn't save that up in 20 years! Telling tales out of school, Miss... <laughs> to my lady. New laws, bucko. There used to be a purchase limit, now it's straight up illegal. Collection, transporting, bribing local gangs and guards, etc. Those are the costs, so it's getting more expensive. But I'd love to snack on some, just don't know how, so I've got an idea. What do you propose? Hold on a second. Welcome, esteemed customer. What can I help you with? I'd like to make a purchase. I can smell the sweet scent of sand coins on you, but this fox in here is smelling much sweeter. Please, I hope you don't mind if I service you next time. Let's talk about this somewhere else. Alright. Dialogue is all over the place sometimes. Alright, what do we got? Oh, he's got a recommended glove. Uh, after oh, you... oh it's, a, it's a real glove for a change. After using a boost skill for the first time, temporary strength plus two each turn. Doesn't fall apart. Good job, dude! You're, you're improving your wares. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> Bandit clothes breaks after six battles. Sharp pauldron breaks after three uses. Rotting shield breaks after four battles. Look, at least it's still an improvement, man. After each shuffle, draw two cards. Yeah. When taking damage, deals 25 damage to the, uh, to the attacker. At the start of battle... Armor plus eight. <laughs> oh, Hoverfish, you came in late. Yes, this shop guy sells cheap things, but they break after a certain number of uses. Like, all of these things up here cost 100 plus. These are much, much cheaper, but they only last for a few fights. But now he's got a night glove, which is, like, actually useful. And then I can do a soul potion, which is just a quick draw. Temporary strength plus three, or soul dice. Discard up to six cards and draw new cards. But I gotta save my money. I got a lot of things I need money for right now. Mission five. We're getting close to it. Ah, now we got two options. 150 mm. money and an item. Or? Or 10 soul shards. Ooh. Mm. And looking up here, we have... If we go this, this is top dream path, trial. Uh, yeah, a feverish trial or an extreme trial. If we go this top path, there's two uh, two campfires, which would be a lot of uh, the poisons. What they call poison gas devices. <laughs> uh, versus if we go this way, there are a couple of these, which let us pray to the goddesses, which could be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Plus, I mean, extreme trial, right? Yeah. Plus, the other one's like, you can do the two campfires, but... But then what else am I doing? Back and you're not doing anything else, yeah. Cast Evade on you or your partner. Uh, he's got Intuition, which is Evade plus four at the start of the turn. Oh, they both book it. And then they both book after nine turns. And then this one is also... Oh, this one's fragile because of something. This one. Fragile. Right. So, but does that mean... Does that mean that... I think that means that he's just going to dodge the first four attacks. 
Yep, just whiff. Uh, each stack, each stack of evade can offset ten damage. Okay. I forgot to switch my stuff. Eh, screw it. Corrosion bottle. Woo, money. <laughs> oh, I'm actually going to overdraw for the first time. I forgot I'm drawing nine cards and my hand limit is ten. See, now I need my hand limit up. <laughs> or maybe... No, I, I need to keep the single for the, the armor. Oh, oh, and they... That's right, they stack. Oh, that's awful. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, he's just gonna keep dodging. Oh, and then, yeah, this is just all armor. For this fight, I wish I could switch my equipment. Because <laughs> all they're gonna do is just keep stacking up evasion, and then they're gonna book. Oh, except now they're going to put poison on me. You jerks. I just, I can't get through the evade. <laughs> See, he's back up to seven evade again. Just... One pair is an attack, two pairs, two attacks, and draw a card. Three of a kind is two attacks, but it's only three cards. But I need to be able to draw cards to make this happen, so... I can hit him all three times, it's something, but... Aha! And one pair! Well... <laughs> now he's up to four of eight. <laughs> oh, they're gonna get away, and it's gonna be tragic. Yeah. Uh, eh, eh. I had to get up to seven again, just... And then draw a card, and I got rid of his evade, but then I can't get nothing left. Uh, it just sucks. Yeah, this is... I don't have quite the right build for all this evade. But they're also not really doing... I mean, I they're doing the poison, but... Yeah, they're, they're doing damage. They're doing more damage than you normally take. That's a lot of poison. Yeah. I might have to use the detective's pocket watch just to... Try and kill one of them. Uh, discard up to seven cards. And then draw them back. <sighs> After all that. <laughs> oh. 
All right, Bun, get some rest. If you need to change, like, evasion is very clearly overpowered right now. I don't know. Well, part of the thing with evasion, like, so each stat can offset 10 damage. So I'm not built for big damage, right? Like, if I still had the that attack that was the three of a kind that's like 30 something 30 damage, damage yeah then it would be then it would be great but instead i'm over here just barely able to cut through the evade and then i get hands like this where my single is block because that's how i've got myself set up otherwise i'd be able to just you know cut 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 and then his evades all gone but i'm just not set up that way Something to be mindful of the future. Yeah. Oh, look, they ran away. It's fine. I survived long enough. Hey, look, three of a kind that's an attack. But my current three of a kind is the double slashers. Nine damage to all enemies twice. Yep. This is randomly attack enemies five times, dealing two damage each time. So this is, Ugh. yeah, not not the one I want. I could drop the attack entirely, get a charge plus five, and then draw a card so that my next attack hits harder for the three of a kind. I don't think I want to change out for any of these, but I'll hold that one. Yeah, I would say, like, grab it and hold on. I think I'm going to go this top path, but let me make let me check my items, because, ow! Oh, I don't have items. Ooh, I spent all my items. All of your items. Yeah, that's fine. Familiar figure with the fishing rod along the shore. Is this a familiar figure? I don't think I've met them before. <laughs> we meet again, dear yeah. customer. My target for today is somewhere else. That's new. Sword. The smell. Customer. Would you happen to have fishing bait on you? Ah, oh, Lord Maggot, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the 25 months. Good lord. And over sand coins. Legendary. A legendary item. A legendary item. Oh, if I had more soul stones fragments, it would be a legendary accessory. Oh. Which, like, the hidden pocket is, is legendary. I think I'd still want to get the legendary item because I'm curious. Same. What does the legendary item look like? Just strength plus four. Which, oh. I mean, in comparison to the strength plus one potion... That's that's a lot. That is a lot. But man, I would have rather had the the accessory. I think. <laughs> yeah, but that's twenty shards. That's a lot. That is a lot. But I mean, I mean, if it was some sort of like think about like the hidden pocket here, right? Like yeah. card draw plus one, starting hand plus one. If you ever run out of hand, just draw two extra cards. Like that's pretty good for. I'd spend 20 shards on that. All right. Uh, prayer to just gain an enhancement skill or HP, which I could probably use the heal, honestly. Uh, select a rare or below car. Rare below batons, card draw, or recovery accessory. A recovery accessory oh. could be good. And if I had more coins, dang it, I could have gotten a rare accessory. Yeah. I think accessories are going to be better long term, so let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, combat boots. After every second use of a four card or greater defense skill, temporary card draw. Eh. Uh, Batons candle holder. When picked up, max HP minus 60%, but restores all HP upon victory. That's mm. spicy. Oh, have quick me. Or. Half cooked meat is a card draw enhancement plus one, hand limit enhancement plus one, and draw a card. Huh. Just not which, kept by your three items. which is more items, which is more healing, or which is more money. Uh, yeah, I need more item slots now if I have all these items, though. <laughs> Okay. Wow. It's a 
heals for 10 at the end of the turn. And he's going to cast Ren, too. Draw nine cards, so there's no reason to not just go boof. Alright, so what's rend here? Take two damage when drawing cards for the next two turns. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe You might we, be in trouble. Maybe we don't draw cards for the, if we can help it. Oh, so your health is not looking great. Yeah, I'm I'm aware. I took a lot of damage from those dodgy jerks. Mm. Take eight damage at the end of the turn with eight turns remaining. Good lord. I still have Ren, so I'll still take damage if I draw cards. So I'm just gonna... Where's my mini flush? Oh, that's five pairs. <laughs> yeah, I think we just do some damage, get some armor. Yep. No, oh, I drew a card because I ran out of hand. Stupid hidden pocket. <laughs> you fool! But I have all this block. Ah ha ha! And the rend is back. <laughs> I need it. I need a healing potion is what I need. I have all these cool can get all these cool items, but none of them are heals. Alright, one down. Everything is fine. I'm gonna take the rend. And then finish him. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, three of a kind becomes blood armor, which is the armor, big armor, but minus health. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, there's that tactical guard again. Just, just gain armor a bunch of times and gain the defense performance up. Um. And then door two damage. The mini flush. I'm currently using for the defense performance. So unless I replace and then the two pairs currently my double hit and draw a card, which is normally very good for me. Yeah. I'm going to take the two pair, but I'm not going to use it, I don't think. That, I think that's smart. All right. Boss time. Overcoming all limits. Loaded with sandbags. He sprints forward and butts his head into a withered tree. Why? Look, these guys are not really sane. Oh, God. All right, a light sandbag, card draw weakened plus two, hand limit weakened plus two. Medium sandbag, card draw weakened plus three, hand limit weakened plus two, 99 turns of frail, but get a common accessory. Or four two ninety nine for a rare accessory. Then a triple. I will oh. say because I've gotten myself up to a plus nine card draw, I think I'm okay taking the big hit on this. Yeah, so do it. Because this, yeah. this this brings me back down to basically the start. That is a lot of <laughs> accurate off the bat, but it's also a <laughs> boss fight. So you know what I'm gonna do? Boosh and boosh. <laughs> 
Yeah. So that's going to be plus five damage on this, on all of my attacks now. Boosh! Uh, do I do... So let's get some starts, some things set up to begin with here. Uh, the straight... I can do that for the straight and keep the mini flush, which is nice. Oh, jeez! All that strength did some work. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, and in fact, is he just dead? Oh, because you have another one. Wow. There we go. Perfect. I'm the puzzle master. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, there's the mini flush up to up to max, which. How is that different from what I currently have? Oh, defense performance plus two. That's defense performance plus two and a temporary yeah. card draw. Although the straight getting... No, straight's the triple slash, which I like. So, all right, let's fine. Let's max that out. Excellent! <laughs> Here's your reward. At the start of the next turn, after interrupted turn is triggered for the first time, charge plus ten each battle. Huh? I don't... What? Is it, was that supposed to be English? Interrupted turn ends this turn. So basically... If something interrupts my turn, next turn I'll have charge plus ten. Yes. That functions once per battle, it seems. Huh. I don't know well, if I that mean, was... that's useful. That's useful. But, I don't know. Uh, this is the full game. I so saw it was on sale. Alright, so this should be the last chapter, I believe. Well, there's supposed to be two more? Ah, oh, well, there's, yeah. Past that. <laughs> but at least in this run, I believe it's one more. Yeah. Good lord, get the heal. <laughs> uh, meditation, I don't quite... I uh, do... No, because it's 45 for the next upgrade now. But I don't think I need any of these. Health could yeah. be good, considering. But I think we level up some more cards here. Because we got a lot of cards that were that are not quite up to snuff just yet. Uh, for our one pair, we're using this, which is good, but getting that stronger would not be bad. Uh, we've been using the two hits draw card. If we can get that up high enough, maybe that'll be much better. Uh, we've been using the mini flush. That's at max. Three of a kind is currently using the double slash. I don't think much. Honestly, I'm kind of like. I kind of like the idea of leveling up with just like the one pair. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've also got the the triple slash. Is still at level one. The full house is. True. Only level two. Uh, the one pair. Yeah, it's good. It's one more. We'll max it out. So I think we should do that. Because I really like that ability. This is your get... armor and attack. Correct. And we only get one upgrade. For now. For now. Decided to get up, huh? Wondering how I could destroy your room without killing you. Why? <laughs> Parting gift. At the start of every fourth turn, gain an energy shield. That's cool. Uh. More like payment for a job. Don't be fooled by Mastara's... Mistasa's cheeky, fa cheery facade. She's an orphan had a rough childhood. I look. <laughs> the anti fiend seals around here seem to be unstable. I have other things to attend to. Oh, you already left. Nothing serious. Flap. Ate too many fish. <laughs> and off he goes. All right, Scott, the next he dies. Route to the next temple. Grab your sleeve and urges you forward. All right. Reunion. Reunion. <laughs> For mother. Uh, torches, blankets, rations. It's all here. Well, forget this. We're not going to be able to make it to the land of snow. 
How can you say that? I always wanted to do this. If you're not coming with me, I guess I'm going alone. But relax. I'll take care of the work in the city. Won't cause you any trouble. Uh, excuse me. You're fluffy, right? Oh, Captain Blue, you're alive. Fluffy, you look quite haggard. I could barely recognize you. Eh, it has been 20 years. You don't look like a 20-something. Well, I guess we can't see his face. True. Uh, be absolutely fantastic. Let's talk about it for some drinks. Milk, right? <laughs> All right. All right, Ian, you got anything for... Not yet, no. He had one good item. It's all gone now. <laughs> <laughs> After using any item, armor plus 40. Once. <laughs> Dang it, <Ugh>. Ian. <laughs> At the start of the turn, inflict flaw on the target if their HP is over 250. Which is damage taken plus 100% removed after taking damage. Which, again, in another build would be really, really, really strong. And that's the sort of thing that even though it breaks after two activations, you like, you grab this to use on the final boss. But my attacks don't do that much damage. <laughs> Taking plus 100% damage is just going to be, like, nine more damage. True. Uh, it's just and, not worth it. And these emergency rations, even though they break after five activations, I feel like I can use the heal. It's Pied Mom. Uh, and this would be five, uh, five times four is 20 versus 20%. Which would be just under 20 because I have 90 max HP. So the emergency rations is more healing than the herb for less money. I'm actually going to buy from you today, friend. <laughs> All right. Mission six. There we go. Head to the second origin temple. I want to double check because... Okay, yeah. So the, the list stops growing up top, but they're all still there. All right, one option. No reward, because it's the end of the thing. Uh, I want to make sure that I hit this campfire before the end. So honestly, probably just right down that middle path looks pretty good. All right, that's a lot of... No, no, not you again! Oh. And nobody's Your attacked. Your favorite! Evasion! Uh-huh. Well, you might be better off just, like, weighing them out. Just no. pop up armor every <laughs> round so they don't do any damage to you. And then wait for them to go away and then deal with the last guy. No. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> you were just done with I was so done with his shenanigans. Ooh, a straight flush. I haven't actually drawn that ever. I keep forgetting that I should be looking for that because that is a strong attack and gives yeah, me plus but... four strength. The fight's already over, but... Do it out of principle. Oh, a frost bomb. <laughs> Bun's already gone, but look, Frost. <laughs> yeah, Frost. Uh, all right. Uh, once again, uh, my two pair is currently my attack and draw things. Um, so, four armor three times. Defense performance plus one. Per temporary defense performance plus one. Temporary card draw plus one. Or the three of a kind, chaos slash max. Randomly attack enemies seven times, dealing two damage each. Which is the other three of a kind attack that I'm not using. But the fact that it's just like, here you go, max version of each of these cards. Well, like, dang. If I had a ton of strength, this one's really good. But I don't really, I'm not really built for that. So I'm going to draw that just because it's rarer. And then a frost bomb. Three <laughs> frost damage five times. Uh, each time the target takes damage, inflict them with freeze equal to the number of times damage is taken. 
And then for the current turn, attack minus one and attack minus five percent for each stack of freeze. Wow, that's actually really good. I'll hold that for the boss. Uh, do just straight down the middle. You discover the cup side all. Pray to gain an item. Offer coins to gain a, a common, rare, or legendary accessory. Jeez, that's... Just, just... Do I... Do I... Spend the coins on the rare accessory? Because I'm going to need it to use the, the wine. Yeah, but... I mean... I think at this point, I just get more items, because... Yeah, you get the accessory. Oh, and I can get a rare item, or I can spend coins to then gain a, a legendary or defensive item. I think Ooh. I'll just take, which is nice, but I gotta save my coins. Deal fifty f damage and freeze plus twenty, which means they won't attack. They basically won't attack next turn. The wine mm -hmm. just gain soul stone fragments, or. Hand limit plus two for the for the fight. That seems all of these are amazing for different reasons. Yeah, I mean the freezing grenade is just a oh shit button. Yeah, the coop's wine is just resources. Yeah, hand limit enhancement two seems like the least exciting option, but there are times when you want that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the grenade because I think I think this is gonna be the last run, the last bit of this anyway. So I yeah. think, so like, the soul stone fragments is great. When am I going to spend them? Right? <laughs> right. Uh, if this is the end of this run. Oh, and gave me another thing. After winning a battle, soul stone fragments plus two. Yeah, oh, wow. that's, why couldn't you give me that a million years ago? <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you, priestess, goddess. Never stop seeking knowledge. Yes. Huh, make a wish. Also fragments. Uh. <laughs> spend the coins, spend the fragments, or <laughs> get the coins and fragments and a cursed item. <laughs> I think I'm going to spend the soul stone fragments, oddly enough. Yeah. Skill times three, item times two, or an accessory. What do you mean skill times three? Are you talking... Oh, I think it means these, you to select these three skills. skills. Yeah. Dang. Which, getting those leveled up could be pretty good. Yeah, and there's three of them, so... Or you can get an accessory, which is also good, but... Oh, there we go! Uh, yeah, because that's the straight that we're currently using. No, that's not the straight we're currently using. And then that's not the mini flush that we're currently using, and that's not the pair that we're currently using. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I'll take this that one, because it's Max. Yeah, you max out that. That's one less thing that you can roll. Uh, that's the chaos slash again. That's not the one that we're using. Um, but again, you pick a max. Well, all the will be max. So yeah. Uh, there's the mini flush maxed out. Isn't it already maxed out? It is maxed uh, out. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, it is. Why is it offering you, then? That's a great question. Uh... Well, something like that, then. Um... <sighs> I guess take... I don't know. I, th I, 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 I think all of that was, was bad. That's, yeah, that's... that was... Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, and then I don't have enough money for the armor, which is after each use of a three-card skill, armor plus five. Woof. Ooh. That would be amazing. I also don't have enough for the witchcraft necklace. All enemies wither plus four at the start of battle, which is just take four damage every turn. <laughs> huh. But I can afford the windwalker dagger. After every third use of an attack skill in a turn, deals ten damage to a random enemy. Neat, yeah, but, but I'm certainly just... not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing three that. attacks per turn. Uh, There's no way to sell items for coins, co right? Correct. Uh, Soaring Plume, draw seven, keep four. Steel Change Scroll, gain invincible for a turn, interrupt turn. 
Hey. Huh, which combos with your... Uh, yeah, which combos with this. Your scroll. I have to interrupt turn is triggered for the first time, charge plus ten. Yeah. So I could theoretically use that one time to be like, super, super defense for one turn, and then next and then, turn I'll hit hard. You'll hit really hard. Hit really hard. Or the thievery gloves, just steal all of target's armor. <laughs> So if, which on its own is just, if an enemy has a boatload of armor, I can use that to just say, no, you don't. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was either the one of those, either one of those last two seems really good. Yeah. Like steel train scroll is just like a, <laughs> uh, I don't want you to hit me this turn and next turn I'm going to hit you for a lot. Where Seaver gloves is just denied for one single <laughs> heavily armored yeah, and so. it's the sort of thing where if they have armor, it's basically going to be just as good as the Invincible. If. Also, don't be like back back here. I don't know what you're talking about. The other problem I have is I've already got two items that I'm bringing into the boss fight, and then I'm probably going to bring in the wine, which... I mean, I... I'll, I'm going to buy the scroll. I think it's just... If I okay. if I get into a bad situation, I, I think the idea of just... <laughs> oops, safety... is too good to pass up. Okay. Alright. Heal up. Back to nearly full. Get one meditation. So we get to level up one thing. Uh, it's a little bit more armor. Or we can do... A little bit more damage. Also, this is... Hold on. This is... 14 damage three times. Randomly targeted. Nine damage five times. And frail. Maybe you're better off taking Rain Slash at this point, because they just keep giving it to you. Seriously. Uh, the three of a kind is nine damage to all enemies twice, but I could also just take this, which is just... The, the problem with the this one is that it's... Seven, it's seven hits doing two damage a piece, which is great if I can get if you're more doing a strength. Straight run, yeah. Which, to be fair, if I can get a straight flush, I'll have strength. So, and with all my card draw, I can. I, I'm gonna be spicy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, change up right before the final boss, huh? Yep, yep. Uh, so then, but means... you know, if you're having a scroll, you could get a lot of strength. With your uh, with that scroll, and the next turn, yeah, exactly. do that exactly. So then, I'm actually gonna upgrade the single shield. Yeah, not a bad idea. All right, let's go. Let's go in here. Let's make sure we set everything correctly. Uh. I think just the Chaos Slash is going to be good. I think... Do we determine? Nope, that one's fine. That one's fine, that one's fine. The Switch that to the Rain Slash. And then, yeah, the Astral Combo. Which, yeah, I want to pull that off, so I'm going to look for the Straight Flush. And let's hope that because I've done that, it's going to be a single fight. Roasted, roasted chicken, and snowy, snowy, snowy snow cones. Huh. The hell what are you to saying? Fish? I know, right? <laughs> Temple of Scepters is just up ahead. Idol of Batons, yep. Alright, so Exalted, get a legendary accessory, fully recover HP, and get max HP. Ooh. Or get Batons Wines offerings. How about a legendary accessory, thank you? Yeah, legendary accessories. Seems... At the start of the turn, strength plus one. <laughs> Which that start of turn, that's stacking. Yeah. Considering my whole build is technically designed to be like I have all of the armor in the universe, I could just stall until this gets crazy. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, that was um, that was juicy. Oh, here's this guy. All the shadows. It's a destruction fiend. All right. 
I'll fight you. <laughs> Amused that the guide is canonically cute. That's a... That's a lot. That's a lot of a lot. I also forgot to put on the... Hmm. You are doofus. The, uh, the steel train scroll is still sitting right here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Whoops. Oh, ellipse. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. So let's kill these guys first so that we can hit the big guy. Alright, what does everybody do? That is just a couple of attacks. Uh, when taking damage, inflicts temporary strength weakened equal to one times the t number times damage taken. <sighs> After taking damage, inflicts rend on the attacker equal to the number of times damage is taken. Oh! Frozen grenade and, uh... Yeah? If only the frozen grenade... It doesn't specify if it's a single target or if it hits everyone, but... I think we still... Yeah, we just... Oh, it just hit the back guy. Yeah, it's just the one, but I think that's okay. That brought his attack to zero, and I'm going to wait to see if that, if that chill comes off and then hit him with the other one as well. I think we're just going to try and focus him down. Your opening hand is two complete six-card straights. Uh, it could be. It could be normal. Yeah, consider, consider that the cards only go from one to seven, and it's more likely than you think. Yeah. Uh, inflicts 11 damage five times and inflicts, inflicts frail for a turn. Uh, I will... Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Do it. I'm doing it. Uh, also, before I do that... Six, five, four, three... So let's do two, three, four, five, six. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with that. And then I'm going to use my wine to draw three cards and hope for the two of clubs for the straight flush. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now I'm up to six strength, so all of my attacks are going to be plus six going here from here on out. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, let's play the four to gain nine block. He's going to hit me for 15. I have nine plus six from the night shield, which should be perfect. And he's swinging at me for zero. <laughs> ha ha! Boosh. Uh, let's see. And all his chill did only last for the one turn. So now I'm going to hit him with another frost bomb, bringing him his attack way down. Uh, let's see. Randomly attack enemy seven times, dealing nine damage each time. That's why we did the, the straight e look for the straight flush. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Uh, for the record, the two players drawing a card, can I... Am I close to a straight flush again? Not really. So, okay. Three of a kind, and just go... Bip, 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 bip. That kind of went all over the place. Uh... Hit two pair and draw a card. That's fine. Ow. Uh, I'm getting hit <laughs> for 15. So, 8 times 3 is... 24. Uh, 24. Thank you. Thank you. 24. <laughs> math uh, is hard. <laughs> look, here lies James killed by math. <laughs> I've been over this before. Uh, then I'm going to draw some spades. So he's going to hit me for 24, and I'm going to gain 6 again, so that should be plenty. Boosh. Bip, bip, bip. Block it all. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm -hmm. Hey, Arcane! Uh, once again, nowhere near a straight flush. Triple, we got triple three. I do, I do. But I think that might be enough to finish him off. We're pretty close to it. Okay. Uh, it's 28. And draw a card. Oh, and I didn't get an attack. That's a little sad. Um, Aww. and the mini flush was, is nice to set up more of the defense, but you need I, to get some armor. Up. But the crazy thing is, I just boom, I'm, I got all the armor. Like <laughs> I've built, I've built defensive, and I don't. Hey, hey, no heals. That's that's unacceptable. Oh, rude. Uh, that should be enough to kill the big guy. Yes, indeed. And then I've got more than enough block already. Draw nine cards, because why not? Three of a kind just goes bop, 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 bop. <laughs> and then Three two pair of finish it. Three of a kind goes burr. <laughs> Defeat the withered mushy fiend. Boosh. There's the the battle spirit plus. There's there's the triple slash plus. Took you long enough. Charging fiend's lifeless body disappoints, and the wicked remaining wicked soul stones fly towards the heavens. Is it over? <laughs> Starry skies. This can't be real. Breaking someone else's toy. What a naughty child you are. No, not you again. Naughty child. I'm a rebel. <laughs> Please do not loot the children rebel. Have standards. That is true. And she chases after him. <laughs> Can one enter an origin temple without the key of Arcana? Nope. That means there's a traitor in the Arcana church. That's right, that he shouldn't have been able to get in here. And that's the saintly trial. Which unlocked a couple of cards. Mini flush, mini flush and a full house card. Mini flush, rock crush. Eight damage and inflicts frail for one turn. When the target is inflicted with frail, the attack increases. Uh, intimidating roar. All enemies, all enemies gain frail for a turn and draw a card. Ooh. And then the full house of... 24 damage to all enemies, and if you have charge, attack is increased to 30, plus then also boosted by whatever the charge is, which is huh. kind of cool. Level up again. Uh, two pair. Taunt. All enemies. Temporary strength plus two, but they also gain fragile for a turn, and then you draw two cards. Whew. That's... That's I, I like it, though. <laughs> Two pair and draw two cards is pretty sick. Uh, mini flush deals damage equal to 80% of your armor and inflicts frail for a turn. That's the card I was looking for the entire run. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> that would have made... That would have made this build so different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three of a kind, Earth Splitter. Uh, deals 25 damage and inflicts interrupted turn. When target is inflicted with fragile, it's in, its attack goes stronger. I unlock the broadsword. After the first use of a three card or greater skill, deals ten damage to the nearest enemy each turn. Okay. New character unlocked. Assassin Elvis. Elvis has a brand new deck, skill set, and defense mechanism. He's good at combos and assassination. Uses evade to dodge attacks. <sighs> and unlocked the second scene. Thirty locations, six missions, kill the elites, kill the boss. Boom. That is pretty cool. All right. Yeah. And I st still don't have Adventure Mode or Daily Challenge unlocked, so I guess you have to go through all the all things the to get. At the very least, I'm assuming get out of curiosity if I go to Alvis. Okay. So the 
the you got We got to go through the three scenes. I'm assuming to get the uh, to get the other ones unlocked. Okay. But I like I unlocked Alvis, and I can immediately go into scene two. Also, hold on, go back. It says you're level three now. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. That was the other bonus. Yeah. yeah she she leveled up twice. Alvis, on the other hand, has his own level ups, I guess. Also, I just realized that, yeah, Nikora is the one who's going to use elemental stuff. That's why we weren't coming across any elemental stuff. Correct. So. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and you can see your last run, and look at that. First run victory. How's that for... Uh, we play enough roguelikes on the channel that I'm able to get a first run victory. Yeah. I know a lot of people in uh, in Steam were saying that this game ramps up the difficulty real bad and it can be really annoyingly hard. And I'm like, I can see it if you don't know how roguelikes like this work. <laughs> I could totally see that. Like that one fight. That one fight almost ruined us. <laughs> okay, so it looks like... Ooh, interesting. Uh, her starting single cards are Chop and Shield... There's a third card that she can unlock, huh. which, ooh, uh, more single pair cards, more two pair. So yeah, more of everything. Uh, we can take a quick look at Alvis's cards, who has a lot more options for singles. Two damage inflicts. Two oh, cheese. Two damage inflicts temporary strength weaken plus one when dealing damage. So. Oh, and you can see how it levels up, too. That's cool. I'm glad they do that. Uh, excavation deals three damage. If the target is inflicted with gash, attack increases to six. Or... Or Sakura. Inflicts gash. Combo effect. Gash plus two. Do I have my own Twitch channel? I do technically have my own Twitch channel, but I haven't used it since we started doing Ultra C. Cause we're trying to get, trying to get us bigger. Yeah. We're trying so hard. We got so far. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. It's only eight forty-eight. So I think I'm gonna try start another run. We'll try. We'll try out the new character. Ah, it won't let me start on hard on that one. Oh, right. I did just jump right into hard on that one, didn't I? Did I? I don't even remember. Probably not. Uh, we probably won't get through the entire run in today for the rest of the uh, rest of the stream, but it's definitely too early to just call it there. So let's start the next yeah. one. And just kind of push through. And you doing okay there, Joe? You sound like you're you fading a well, little. I just I, I had to blow my nose for a sec. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Man of the Frost Clan Town. This is a cute little building. Not the guide. The... Right. Have a good one, Vance. Thanks Thanks for coming in. The guide is still cute. The guide like... is still cute, even though we know that she has a name. <laughs> Eating roasted chicken. I don't want Rebel to take care of everything. Rebel needs to sit down. Look at you! Rebel needs to Rebel. Aww. <laughs> With the live... It's a ferret! Yeah, with roasted... Ch I like how they got him like a soul patch. Like, it's a ferret with a soul patch. How did you do that? <laughs> That's adorable. It, it definitely has a sleep tattoo as well. Yes. You just can't see it because it'd be blocked by the Mongo Veil. No, oh, absolutely has to. It's... <laughs> okay. Customer, smustomer. Dying of fire. Wow. Both the mayor of this town and the innkeeper of this fine establishment. All my friends call me Mochi. Dad's cute. <laughs> mayor, mayor Mochi. <clears throat> Again, I like how the game will tell you that their name is Mochi and then continue to call them Lively, lively Innkeeper. innkeeper. <laughs> I, l I like to think that it's the way that they're wording that is because your character just does not care. 
it's like you're no, like your I, name is Cute Guy the Lively Innkeeper. Right. Those I'm here. I'm here to do the trials, and everyone around here is just annoying as hell. I just let me do my trials. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, then we gotta go fight the fiends. Let me grab a map. Alrighty. Oh, new reward. Oh, right. So we gotta restart from zero. Um. After every three uses of an attack skill in battle, inflict gash on a target. After every ninth skill, inflict three gash on a target. I. F oh, after th every three uses of a skill in battle, inflict gash two. After every ninth attack with an attack skill, inflict gash three. It sounds like the claw is better, but this is three uses of a skill, so that's three cards played. Yeah. Versus this is nine attacks. So if you have cards that do multiple attacks, that will stack up faster. Good point. Huh. So I don't know. And then start of the turn, charge one. I'm good. I, it feels like I'm going for multi-attack, not big attack. Yeah. So go Gorilla Dagger and try to get eh. multi-attack? Yeah, I'm just going to lean into as many, as many attacks as I can. Multi-attack and multi-gash. Yes. Hey, look, deals one damage three times and gain a combo point. Um, combo yep. points are things the other attacks use. Uh, when the target takes damage, inflicts gash equal to the number of instances of damage times two. So like this is, hits them three times. That sounds like everything you wanted to that do. That sounds like exactly so, what I want. Uh, for what it's worth. Triple bleed. <laughs> for what it's worth on the two pair, evade plus two. Uh, if I have nine combo points, it makes it evade plus three. Draw three cards and keep one. Whew. Temporary That's card enhancement. Neat. Draw a card, discard up to four cards, and redraw them. That's pretty cool. But Crimson Rain yeah. is, like, right on board with what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Uh, four of a kind. We're finally getting four of a kind stuff. Deals nice. 32 damage, unless you have six combo points, in which case it's 50. Uh, or backstab. Target's HP minus 28. If th The way that's worded tells me that goes through armor. And evade. And then... It goes know, through evade, too. And goes through evade, yeah. When there's only one enemy left, it does more. And then the flush <laughs> is evade, combo point, temporary card draw, and if you have a lot of combo points, big evade. But I mean, we know how awesome evade is. Yeah. So do we go for evade, or do we go <sighs> for... I'm getting through. It's hard. Like, Backstab and Swift Shadow are both so good, but they're very different. I mean, and I mean, we really do want both ultimately, but yeah. Uh, looking at everything we have, we have all offense. Like literally, all of this is offense. So, so maybe, maybe take the flush. Maybe the flush gets us evade. Yeah. Do I look like someone who can beat fiends? No. Have you seen any block yet? Evade could be his only defense. It looks like evade is his only defense, which is. Scary. <laughs> I want extra herbs on my chicken and cheese. All right. So we get an accessory from the mayor or money. Wow. How about the accessory just sounds better? Yeah, it does. The it image. Is, you know, we with 50 this time. But... The image looks like the second path is supposed to be. Like Bigger. The accessory is just such a better reward. It is. Now, who needs defense when he can have more offense? You're not wrong. Assassin tutorial. After you use the evade skill, an evade value will appear above your HP bar. Each stack of evade allows you to block 10 points of damage. If if you are unable to block all damage from a single attack, the evade effect will not be triggered, meaning you will take damage. Meaning you will take damage from the incoming attack. At the start of the next turn, evade value resets to zero. So if you hit hard enough, evade just can't do anything. Yeah. Eat, every time an assassin plays a hand, they gain a combo point. Specific skills use these points to trigger a stronger combo effect. Some assassin skills inflict HP reduction effect. This effect ignores armor, evade, and energy shield. Ha <laughs> also, look at the cute little face there. <laughs> just... So good. So good. I didn't equip the things. It's fine. This is tutorial. Uh, three of a kind. Just bop, bop, bop. One pair. Bop. 
One pair. Bah! Bop. And then just single strikes. Man. I didn't draw any of eight either, so... I got him! <laughs> okay, so two pair inflicts gash plus four and draw a card. Or combo effect more gash. The draw card? Uh, two pair, 12 damage. Uh, when the target has gash, inflict cripple. Or two pair, in gain tendon tear. After activating combo effect and crypt cripple. I, I think we just want more gash. Yeah. Night blood for the win. Okay, so now we make sure we go up here. Make sure we equip stuff. Make sure we equip stuff. Uh, yeah, this is two damage and then temporary strength or three damage unless they're inflicted with gash, which makes it stronger. I think that's that's what we want is to hit him with gash so this does a lot of damage on singles. Yeah. They can just do six damage per single card. Yeah. Just... Um, one pair. This is seven damage. Uh, if we have four combo points, nine damage and draw a card. Or Leaping Spirit, which is evade. And if we have four points, evade and draw a card to keep one. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want on there yet. Uh, Nightblood we just put on. Uh, mini straight. We, we don't have a mini straight. Uh, three of a kind is our Crimson Rain. S Flush is our Swift Shadow. Four yep. of a kind, we don't have. And then our big attack is a straight flush. Deal four damage to the target nine times, then attack oh. the enemy. Well, I'm sorry. Deal four damage to the target nine times, then attack the enemy nine times, dealing one damage each. <laughs> For every six enemies killed, ra random damage permanently plus one. <laughs> that is... Sick. That is so many attacks. It's a lot of little hits, but it's a lot of little hits. Yeah. Dang. Um, so we need to go back to that two pair. Oh, what was it? One pair or the two one, pair? The, the, the to... one pair is the one we have to debate between. Because, like, that's a really good evade. That like, is a pretty good evade. Spam. Plus, it gives us... Evade. Yeah, it gives us two options. Yeah. Because, like, this is... Not, the one pair is nice, but if they have gash, we can just play two singles instead of the pair as attacks. Yeah. Versus we have the option to gain an evade this way. Well, well, that's the only other way we have to defend ourselves with a flush. Yep. This gives us a defensive option. Exactly. All right, so let's go this way. Yeah. You hear the sounds of fighting in the distance. Team up to battle a strong enemy. Let's do it. Let's <gasps> do it. It's the Blue Knight. Fluffy. Retreat. Captain. Bastard. Looks at his bow and shakes his head. I need help. Perfect timing, your grace. Please, Fluffy, you hold him back and pull yourself together. Yes, sir! <laughs> Gain the following buff during battle. Azure Ursus Shield. Interference Shot. Prepare for battle. Okay, so what are those, what are those buffs? Oh, battle tutorial. Enemy Chanted Spell. When enemy's action plan glows purple, it means the action is a chanted spell. When enemy uses a chanted spell, chant value will appear over the, over them. Every time their HP is reduced, the chant value will be reduced as well. Chanted spell will be removed when the chant reaches zero. Okay, so it's basically they're doing like a channeling type thing. Huh. And you can, if you, basically like, think of it like D&D &D concentration. This guy's big, but all he's doing is putting up armor. What are these guys doing? At the start of their turn, stack number of freezes reduced by half. And this guy is frail. Okay. So let's see if we can't drop one of these guys. Drop all of them. Well, yeah. Deals Kill one damage three all. times. When the target takes damage, inflicts gash equal to the instances of damage. So theoretically, right, this should give yep. him six gash, if I'm reading that right. Yeah! I think so. That's pretty good. Oh. I, I have a mini straight, but I don't have a skill for it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm guessing that I have enough combo points. Oh, I do. Four combo points. Nope. Wait, is that what that is? 
yes, I have four combo points. And that's why this has a glowy aura around it to tell me this combo would affect. Which is an extra evade. Or evade, draw four cards, and keep one. I, you know, I'm going to do this to test if this is one evade or two evade. Okay. Uh, drew four cards, and I'm keeping one of them. I'm going to keep the f hand limit reached. What? Why? I don't think that's... Oh, because I'm drawing nine cards next turn. <laughs> so it's just like... Aww. okay. So it was only one evade. Yeah. So the combo like the version... was just one evade. The, the bonus was one evade plus other stuff. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a four and a three, so I'm going to assume I'm going to need two evades, so I'm just going to do another one. This one will not combo point, but that's okay. And then this guy's got gash, so we're just going to go big stab, big stab, big stab. And big will, stab! And this will likely be... Yeah. And then he gash bled to death. Ha uh, Combo effect, inflict... Eight gash and draw a card. Woo! Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna put that on you. And then I think we're gonna ping, ping, ping. You are bleeding so hard. Um, <laughs> if I put up a single pair, I and then I can draw a card. Doesn't matter what I draw. Uh, the pair puts up the one evade. If I can stop him from attacking, I can't though. So how about just another pair for another another evade? Oh, so that's gonna be four attacks, which will cut. Yeah, through. but that's how you will break through your evade. No, because it's each evade can block up to ten damage on a thing. So basically, the way that it's gonna work is it each stack of evade will block one attack. If it and it goes up to ten damage, so he I if he swings at me for eleven damage, I'll take one damage. Uh, effect, right. No, effect will not be triggered if it can't block the total damage of a single attack. Um, but so like, gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the defense anyway. Uh, draw the five here, and I'm still gonna do the pair. And then I'm just going to shank him. So I've got three evade, and you're going to see it's going to hit me. I think that's three damage two times. And no, then yeah, it's going to be seven, which... And it's seven. You, you, so, but you have three stacks of it. So Correct. It's gonna absorb so all three it is going to absorb all three attacks. So even though it's only, you know, 20-something damage, I think I'm still going to lose all three stacks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a weird evade system. So each evade blocks an attack. It's just more... More attacks... Oh, it deals zero damage three times. Ugh. Because I know. You find that one monster in the last run that was like messing you up, and I'm like, you were doing a lot of attacks, and this evade attacks weren't going down. No, nah, because most of my attacks were only one or two hits. And he was, and he had seven stacks of evade, so I could, I was barely able to get through it because, sad. Yeah. Um. All right. So it's one attack. So as long as I do, I'm not using that one. I'm using this one. Set up Use that one, one evade. Uh. Do I? I don't have a full house. Well, let's see. Uh, another pair. You have a four of a kind. Yeah, but I don't have an ability for it. <laughs> right. It's so sad. <laughs> and my three of a kind is currently doing no damage because of the, the weekend. So it'll, it would be good to set up, you know, six gash. And the two pair will put up Gash and draw a card, so I think that's going to be my best bet, but I think we'll yeah. do that. And honestly, because he's Gashed, uh, 
four times four is sixteen. I can just kill him, even though it's not it's not efficient, but I can do it. You might you might as well do it. I think. And then I drew another card, so I could do and I so I could do two damage. But in that case, uh, nine, ten, eleven, perfect. Yeah. I'm drawing so many cards. All right, now he's hitting me for 10, so I just need to do an evade. Everything is British UFT now. Oh, nice. That is just all of the twos. <laughs> I don't have straights. I don't have four of a kind. <sighs> but I have a couple three of a kinds, so let's do... Uh, Inflix, that's four gash. Versus that's going to be six gash. Yeah. I'll put up all the gash. Why did that do no gash? Is it because of the armor? Did I misinterpret that? Does he not get gash if he's blocking? What? What are his... What are his stat, bu bu uh, stat buffs? Eh, all he's got is just defense performance, and then he's currently frail. Okay. I'm already blocking enough. Does does Gash not take effect if he has armor? That's the only thing I can think of. That's fine. So I'll, I'll reread it. Oh yeah, when the target takes oh yeah. Uh blah, 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 blah. Yeah, when the target takes damage, inflicts gash equal to the number of instances of damage. So are because he's blocking because he was blocking, he wasn't actually taking damage. But this time that should inflict the gash. And we're gonna inflict just all of the gash. <laughs> he has twenty gash. <laughs> Which means at the end of his turn, he's going to take 20 damage. And then I'll just hit him for another 6 and another 6. He'll put up some armor and then bleed for 20. Yeah. Okay, it, so yeah, Gash is Turbo Bleed. But he's got 12 armor, which would stop the more Gash from going up. Okay. Well, it's nice that the bleed is straight up minus one of our hit points. So Correct. Correct. Armor, what's it's on there? Correct. Just let's get through the armor initially. Uh, he's only Correct. swinging. He's only swinging for five, so I don't even need to play a full flush. I just need a single pair. Uh. So the two pair guarantees the gash versus the three of a kind deals gash, gives him gash based on the hits that he took. So the two pair is what I want to do because that will guarantee put the, the gash up. Yep. Since I can't cut through the armor. And because he has, because he has gash... Boosh, he's going to take... He's going to take most of his health. Okay. Yeah, three ways to do a full house. Yeah, if only I had a full house skill. <laughs> All right, so now we have options for mini straights. Currently, our mini straight is not existent. So we can do whatever we want here. Yes, uh, inflicts gash plus four, and on combo makes it six and weaken them. Um... 13 damage, when the target's HP is full, it increases their attack to six, the attack to 16 and gives us a combo point. Okay. Or, 4 damage 3 times, and the combo effect draws us a card. So do we go for another multi-hit, or do we go for just inflict more gash? Um, we are... Let me clarify, we have... The dagger was after every ninth attack, it inflicts more gash. 
So we want to infl- uh, attack as many times as we can. Yeah, so me, so it's silly. But the problem is, I don't. But... Story, well, story flash does mean that we'll get more gashes by using that. But this is also guaranteed just four dash. Yeah. Yeah. Potentially six. Potentially yeah. six. You you bring up a great point. <laughs> and gash ignores the that kind of gash ignores the armor so. Monster yeah. drops some soul soul fragments. Woo! We did it. <laughs> we owe you greatly. Oh yeah, the start of every turn, the start of every third turn, inflicts cripple on all enemies. Okay, that's. I mean, it's something. Coming from Leonard City, isn't the army there quite formidable? Uh oh. Yes, ma'am. All right, now we go to a fight. Wait, so Blue Knight is... is <laughs> Eeyore, is, Eeyore is a lady. Okay. It's, it's She-Or. <laughs> she, She-Or. I'm sorry, that's that's terrible. Okay, so two pair... No, two pair is four gash draw a card. The mini straight is just four gash, but it's one fewer card. But okay. it's the same, because it's four gash and draw a card, and that's just three cards, right? So it's four cards but replace one, and that's three cards. These are essentially the same thing right now. Oh. Maybe we really should look no, at it's not a, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. I will also say... I mean, they're both executed very differently, so there'll be times you can do one and not the other. I will say... We have a one, two, three of hearts right here. Oh, although I forgot to put up an evade. Whoops. Uh... But it's only four damage. <laughs> Is poker everywhere now? <laughs> so here's my question. Do I just put up six more gash and then lower his attack a little bit or do I go spicy and look for the the royal flush just so we can see it I'm going spicy I mean I want to go spicy I want to see you it really want to go spicy I want to see the million attack march that was not <laughs> that was none of them that was I mean yeah Hmm. That's so sad. Uh, two pair lets me draw one, but doesn't it? that wasn't it. Uh, that'll be enough to just kill him, though. So now he's dead. And once again, I should play a pair to to dodge this. You probably oh, should. I should. Oh, wrong. oh, but I can... Well, yeah, no, it's the same either way. That's fine. Oh, but I can draw... Oh, see, there's the four. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just you wait. Yeah. I'm going for it. I'm gonna find it. Ah, oh, two, three, four, five. I'm close. It's a mini straight. Look, two pair draws me a card. It's true. Yeah, one or six of hearts. Ah, it's the wrong one though. <laughs> Oops, ah, and now and now I don't and now I don't have an evade. Whoops. It's fine. I'm being greedy. You are determined to get that straight. No, back. and I still didn't get it. <laughs> uh, it's fine. He's just he's probably just dead anyway. Forever punished. Forever punished. <laughs> yeah, he's already dead. I have a diamond instead of a heart, but not the f not five diamonds. 
おめえはもう死んでる。And then I can just, I can just make sure that he just bleeds to death. And then just in case for, no, what am I doing? Yeah, he's super dead. Oh, he bleeds after his attack. That was silly. Me trying to be greedy over here. Uh, there's the four. Hey, there's the backstab. Oh yeah, there is that backstab, which, yeah, we and I kind of like it, considering the other four of a kinds here are just damage, potentially bigger damage if they're low on health, damage, bigger damage of the combo, or just damage that ignores shields and armor. It's the least of this damage, but it's guaranteed damage, which is very nice. <coughs> it's sort of good though. That is a very cool. Is that like a? Is that, I can't tell if it's like a tail or a scythe or. It's a sword. Uh, pray to get a common item or offer five fragments to get a common or attack you accessory. Have, you have so few fragments. Well, it's it's the start of the run. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Every 12 uses of the attack skill, gain charge plus 10. Well, all right. Sure. I mean, it's something. It's, all right, Phoenix, get some get some rest. There's a thing you did not have a moment ago. Yes. That is permanent. Epe is equal sword. No, I know that an epe is a sword. Specifically, it's like a, it's like a rapier style. I just meant the character design. Ooh, here we go. Feel the presence of an enemy lurking behind you. I can just dodge. <clears throat> or counterattack, 70% chance of winning, 30% chance of failure, taking damage and gaining rend. Go spicy. But, but why? Spice. But what would I gain out of that? It doesn't say that what I gain, right? I can either win or lose and have bad things happen, or I can just dodge. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it. I take some damage and gain rend. <laughs> I, womp womp. I should have just dodged. Ow! I'm in trouble. Oh! I mean, it's all your fault. It is. <laughs> all right. Sorry. So I'll I'll do that. Uh, and then three, four, five to inflict some gash. Uh, I should be able to fully block that or fully evade that. Uh, one, two, three, five. Oh, I'm so close. Uh, ooh, what are you doing? What is this? Cast intuition. Oof. He has freeze resistance. Oh no! Yeah, he's he's evading for, for all of your freeze. Yeah. No, no. No, I can't. I can do two pair because I'm can do these two. Nope, I'm holding. I'm holding. I need that four spades, baby. I need the four of spades game. The four of spades. The four of spades. Oh, this is... It just terrible. doesn't... I have two three of spades game. What is this crap? <laughs> <sighs> ah, I was hoping for the four of spades. I didn't draw it. I still didn't draw it. Where is it? I don't know. Did did you forget to put it in your deck? I'd, if only it was it was a thing I could do. <laughs> I'm. You're whiffing so hard. And because you're afraid, I have to clarify. I said whiffing, 
whiffing with a W. Where did all my evade go? Like I played so many pairs. Why did I? Why do I have one evade? That's not it ideal. It should have stacked. It should have stacked. I was not paying attention to something. Hmm. This could be a problem. Really, game? I got a four of a kind. You do. But as soon as I play that, I'm going to find that four of spades. Just you watch. Of course you will. But it's fine. It's a huge attack. He's not attacking this turn. Which is good, because you are so low health. I have very low health. He's not even bleeding. I don't need the one and the six, because I can't do the run either way without the four. So, I'm drawing a two, so... Oh, that's going to do zero damage anyway. Yeah, so, a turn, I guess. Ah, oh, a heal. There's the four of spades. Straight flush, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's so many hits. Uh, Even though you're about to die, that was at least satisfying. Oh yeah. Well, dang. <laughs> You got what you wanted, but you lost what you had. Well, crud. <laughs> eh. Eh. Man, if I had one more card! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I have no items to use, either. <laughs> well, alright, then. That was, uh... That was far less exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. So that that one requires a little bit more finesse than the first one does, because evade is a little scarier than, than block. Also, that, got, that was so short that I got, like, nothing unlocked for that character. That's so sad. That was really sad, yeah. Ah, well. But now I definitely don't have enough time for another full run. So while it's a little early... I think that's a good, a good stopping point there. I kind of like this game. I like the aesthetics. I know that the characters are a bit much at times, but eh, that can be kind of fun. But uh, I think we're going to call it there. We'll be back tomorrow morning with uh, whatever Lee's doing. But thank you all for coming out, and we will see you guys next time.